We got our own clique, strong clique. Welcome to Like Like a Podcast. Today we have the Steadians. I'm Chris, and I'm sitting next to... Oh, my name is Brian, and I play trumpet for the Steadians. What's your Instagram account or whatever you want to put out? Uh, I just put it under Brian Rosas. All right, yeah, cool. Yeah, that's my Instagram. Yo, my name is Tony D. Um, I'm online at E-L-A-Z-Z-Z-E-R. Oh, yeah. Uh, my social security number is... <laughs> 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 What's your blood type? Um, a positive. What's your I also remember because like I gotta maintain a positive, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but so, I play I play guitar with the steady and so I'm like I barely joined like a couple weeks ago. What's Ooh. your favorite porn site? Um, what's that one? What's that one? Pornhub, you porn X oh. videos, uh, Tushi <laughs> Tushi.com. Oh, there you go. Dude. <laughs> I'll try that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, I'm Caesar. I play bass for the steady and I. Manage the band, manage the page. My Instagram is Vinicio Lower Frequencies underscore between the two. Um, besides playing the bass, I usually carry most of the stuff for the band, <laughs> instruments, <laughs> drive people, bass player slash roadie. You know. So you're the guy with the truck. I'm yep. the guy with the truck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, that truck did pass away this past weekend. Gosh, R A P. Yeah. Uh, yeah R A P. Punk rock bowling. Yeah, we punk got back from bowling. punk rock bowling and just didn't make it back. Yeah, Snoovel. Yeah, I'm something had to stay over there. Okay, we gotta we gotta pause real quick so we can put the boys to men song at the end of the road. Okay, and uh, my name is Angel Montiel. I play the guitar for the Steadians. My Instagram is Angel M W A N, and yeah, it's fun stuff. And all the girls go wild. Ah! <laughs> He's a carita or what? No, no. It's a carita. <laughs> Sometimes you're... Yeah. <laughs> Don't play guitar, just stand there. <laughs> yeah. And this is Bago. This is Anthony from La Clica. This is Rick. Uh, what's my name? Low Light Gangster. Yeah. Ooh. All right. So, you guys are Steadians. Please tell our audience what kind of music you guys play. Rock steady, ska. We try to keep it a little traditional. It's mostly hip hop, we are for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, we like to hip hop ska, b boy type type of hip hop. But nah, <laughs> seriously, we we do play ska, straight up ska, traditional ska, a um, little bit of reggae, a little bit of rock steady, a little bit of what they call early reggae, agro reggae. Has many different names, many different definitions, but Dirty we kind of make it our own thing for yeah. the most part. But uh, overall, honestly, we play ska straight yeah, up. Man. Hell yeah, yeah. But, uh what constitutes the different types of ska styles, like for your guys uh, specifically? I, I think overall, I mean, there's so many ways to describe it, but I think when it comes to rhythm, tempo, and uh, the way that you're uh, grooving to the beat. I don't know if that's a good definition or not, but... Oh, makes sense. Uh, overall, I mean, reggae has many different types of styles of yeah. playing. Ska itself has different styles of playing. You know, you can play it fast, you can play it slow, you can play <laughs> it real choppy. Mm-hmm. It depends on the mood and style that, that it fits. Yeah. But... So nowhere near ska core. Mm, yeah, we got a little bit of baby ska core. Oh, I mean, there you go, probably a tiny <laughs> drop, like zero point zero two percent. You know, yeah. sprinkle Hints. something in there. It's a little Hints. sprinkle in there, but uh, uh, I, I think uh, Tony might have a good definition of that too. I feel like the real difference between all of the reggae diaspora genres mm-hmm. is probably in the drum beat. Gotcha. You know, mm-hmm. the drum beat from rock steady to ska to like a roots one drop. Yeah. To like you know dub where it's just like. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> I feel like the beat, the beat, it's a little carry on yeah. deal. Yeah. The, way the, yeah, the way the beat moves you. Oh yeah. All yeah. right. Comes um, the silence right here. <laughs> no, no, no. Like I had this question I asked them earlier. I myself, I don't really know what the fuck call. Does it stand for anything? Is it an acronym? What the fuck is yeah, it? It's a super killer. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what does call mean? Like super it's killer a, alcoholics. It's, hey. like <laughs> it's a civil rights movie. It's, it's, it stands for somebody kill AIDS. Oh, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> um, actually, we, we're not really sure. I mean, I'm not really sure what yeah, Scott I mean, means. I thought it was just the way it sounded like. 
Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. You know, like the drum beat, like he said, it's pretty much ska. It's the drum beat. Well, I, I think <laughs> it came from the word skanking. Oh, or scatting? No, but yeah. if anybody has the answer, can you please came, call in. That's like what came first, the chicken or the egg? What came first, ska or skanking? <laughs> yeah. Never know. Scatting. Skanky came first. I, I think, came with the skinheads. I, I thought Brian it came with the skanks. Um, <laughs> I'd like to phone a friend. <laughs> uh, lifeline, please. <laughs> <laughs> Only one life my left. <laughs> is that your final answer? What is ska for one million dollars? <laughs> Fuck. I think uh, we're all getting it wrong right now, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right why it was my question. The reason why I still live with my mother. I, c- I could picture somebody Googling this shit right The reason now. I can't pay my bills. If you're listening right now, Equal you're Googling. Uh, suspenders. All right, so how long have you guys been together as a band? How long has the Steadings been around? Uh, Steadings was founded four years ago, actually. It came down a... Real far path, deep in uh, I don't know, like, like fucking Silver Lake or something. We started jamming out there. I met these dudes through uh, Craigslist. Uh, the original original members <laughs> hey, were actually uh, 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 Triki. <laughs> actually, he was actually uh, a, a trans. Um, that was on- online, you know, for five bucks. But we ended up playing music together. <laughs> no, but Triki was our original singer, and then we had you know Gato, which was the original drummer, mm-hmm. and then we also had this guy called Bambi. Yeah, he was a keyboard player. Yeah. Uh, the, the singer lasted about two years. The drummer lasted about a year. The keyboard player lasted about six months. And then the band completely took a whole different twist two years ago, and it's what I call the steady sound. Yeah, you know we're a ten piece band, Damn, um, dude. four wow. horns, two guitars, drummer. Sure, we got them all in here. Yeah, been fucking yeah. sweating like a motherfucker. Dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the walls look like they're sweating. Yeah, <laughs> it's like nine people sharing one mic. We start, we start fighting. <laughs> we're, real. we're like the yeah. Temptations. Yeah, it's been about four years. Four years, and uh, you know it's it's pretty much about how long we've been around. About four years. Damn, dude, it's good, man. Yeah. You guys play mostly in L.A.? You know what? Lately, last two years, we've been playing every fucking where. Fuck, yeah. What's the furthest place you guys travel to? I think the furthest we've gone... Arizona. Uh, maybe past Frisco? Or Arizona? Arizona. Yeah? Yeah. About the same distance. Like, yeah. Yeah, about... Yeah, I want to yeah they're Arizona. equally distant. You know, a little bit on the edge of Arizona. Uh, what city was that? Was that uh, um, I can't even remember. But By it, Arizona State. But it was a long drive. <laughs> <laughs> Bad, man. Yeah. With nine guys? Damn. Oh. Yeah. Anybody take their girlfriend? No. Uh, a couple of us made nah, a mistake. fucking up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, ever take your girlfriend. Yeah. Not me. You don't take sand to the ocean, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you don't take skanks to skank. <laughs> <laughs> He's going yeah, like to ask you to take that out later. Like, you meet the Skanks there. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah. I think I'll Modesto, uh, Frisco, uh, that city that's in uh, Arizona State, the university, that's probably the furthest we, we, we've gone. But yeah. come Tempe. to August, we're going to Illinois, Chicago. Oh, so. shit. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. Nice, yeah. man. So we're going to be in another van with like a bunch of smelly dudes. You guys driving all the way up there, too? <laughs> we might drive or take a plane, depending on you know how we're oh, doing. On the smell. And ba- the smell. <laughs> Baby wipes and Febreze. Yes. Yeah. Look, and deodorant. You would think that's enough, man, but no. You know what? <laughs> I'll lend you guys my portable recording gear. Do your own podcast on the drive all the way to oh, Chicago. That'd be dude. fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I heard, actually? They started selling at Walmart. Man pads. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 What? Yep. Yeah. You heard about man, that? Man. That's true, yeah. Okay, I have <laughs> to ask. Story. True life of a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is man a man pad? pad? <laughs> so pretty much you're wrapped around your Gucci area, right? Uh-huh. And... It soaks up all the juices oh, from the nice. front and the back. Mm-hmm. So when you, you know, you know when you take your boxers off and there's yeah. a little. Oh, sh- I think I just threw up in my mouth. God damn! And then you, once you're done with it, you take it off and you slap the guitar player with it. <laughs> <laughs> Either I was right. just gonna say that, like old school way, you just wipe it off with your hand and slap Chris with it, dude. <laughs> dude, you know who created that shit? Have you guys ever seen a uh, Robin Big? Oh, yeah, yeah, with yeah. Rob Garrett, oh, the yeah, skater, yeah. and oh, the yeah. Big Black. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So he used to always fucking wrap up toilet paper and put it in his underwear because, so, you know, he was a yeah, big guy and he would piece. fart and shit. Fucking ball sweat, dude. Mm-hmm. So one time they fucking, like, pants his ass and that fool had fucking that toilet paper and they're like, what is that? He's yeah, like, you know, so you know, like. I remember that episode. So it was basically the man pad. Oh, yeah, he was like, I got a man pad. Yeah. Like, the rest what happened to the talcum powder? He created that shit. They should call this cancer, Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's true. It does. It does it? What about Gold Bond? That's what I used to use. <laughs> Fucking it tingle too, man. Oh, damn. 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 That shit took a weird ass turn off. Where the fuck did we go now? <laughs> so yeah, so we so anyways. Road, well, that's the, the life on the road, man. Yeah, that's what it is. Taco on the balls, you know? Rebecca suggests anything Summer's Eve. Damn. Oh, damn. 
<laughs> what are you nuts? <laughs> Just sprinkle it on your nutsack, Allie. <laughs> Didn't we hey. talk about poopery once? <laughs> Hey, that would be a good name for that powder. What are you nuts? And we just bring it on your nuts. And shit. What are you nuts for, man? You gotta get that guy. The, the, you gotta get the copyright on. Yeah. The so fucking uh, Salt Bay. Yeah, that guy. What are you nuts for, man? Just like sprinkling it. Yep. That was sell, bro. And then you just have a guy like with his fucking legs around his back. <laughs> I, am, I don't know God about your damn. Damn, you be doing some yoga, bro. <laughs> that's just hanging out. Like you know what? You know he, this guy's put thought into it before. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's this what, is nothing new to him. He's fucking thought about this shit well, that's before. What, that's what power yoga is, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to go on check. Shark Tank. That's why. Can you imagine this guy doing power yoga? Shit, no, <laughs> not even. Like, so, uh, can I get a price check on man pads? <laughs> you know, uh, going ahead and talking about your shows. You guys said you just did uh, punk rock bowling. How was yeah. that? Like, it was probably the sickest uh, event we ever played at, probably, honestly. Uh, it was four days of non-stop partying, except, oh, except for that dude. moment where we actually had to play. <laughs> <laughs> we're at, oh, shit, we got to stop partying. Fucking being professional. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, guys, don't act drunk. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was sick, man. Fucking it, the lineup was stacked up. I mean, the, the headliners was Rancid, the Descendants, the Damn. Specials, the Hides, Penny fucking Wise, wow. the Stranglers, Killing Joe, Flag, which is members of Black Flag. Mm-hmm. Man, and, uh, this fool brought a fucking list, bro. Well, you know what? That's a big ass list. There's a little book, and I grabbed it, and I took it. <laughs> a little souvenir. So, when I'm dead and my grandkids are alive. I'm like, hey. Dude, they're like, who the fuck took the book? <laughs> <laughs> there's only one of them. So that's a punk rock Bible right now? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much, man. But it was sick, man. There's a lot of bands. We, to, yeah. we, had, we like actually got to hang there. out with a couple guys from... Oh, the band I wanted to see was sick of it all, dude. Somewhere that's the one there. band I wanted to see, man. Yeah, actually, one of my buddies is... Uh, He's dating the singer's daughter. Oh. Oh. That's exclusive shit right there. That fool fool must be (laughs) sick of it all. Hey, dude. Let's get a little personal here. Does he wear man pads? (laughs) (laughs) He wears two at a time. (laughs) He must listen to La Clica. Gooch (laughs) and All right. Let's let's get back to the music. How how did... What does the settings mean? Is there a uh, meaning behind the name? How'd you get that name? Uh, you know what? The original members, we sat down actually with Angel, which was wasn't in the band at the time, but he was just kicking it for whatever reason. He was a roadie. He showed up. He was a roadie. You know. Well, like, they were they were practicing where I practiced, so. Oh, there you yeah. go. They were, we were just there. We were in uh no, actually we were in Koreatown. <laughs> yeah, we were in Koreatown. And yeah, you uh, got the, it wrong, at, at the singer's house. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, so oh, we shit, were at, at the singer's house in Koreatown. Angel was there. Our old guitar player Jonathan, which is actually actually playing bass for Blanco Negro now. Um, he was actually there, um, and all the original members, and we're thinking, like, what the fuck should we call ourselves? We're like, this and that, that and that, and for whatever reason, you know, obviously Steady has a lot to do with the kind of music we play. For the most part, the rhythm, Steady, keep the same rhythm, even though most of our fucking music like, not Steady, we kind of switch it around and shit, and uh, we were first going with the Steady Ends. Mm. You know, it's like a steady end, like yeah, you know, like you know, mm. like yeah. like my relationship, nice thing. <laughs> but um, um, yeah, we were thinking about the steady end, and we we're like, you know what? What if we add ends? So ends, that those four letters in itself is very common in a lot of Jamaican bands, uh, like Claridonians, the Jamaicans. Um, they Melodians. use the yeah, yeah. They they use those four letters. So we're like, fuck it, let's throw those fucking four words. Let's call ourselves the steady ends, and let's just fucking run it. And um, that's basically where our name derived from. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. That makes sense that you went after that Jamaican root. Was it root? Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's, it's an homage to, like, Jamaican music, you know, what we play. And you got to pay respect to the people that created this uh, beautiful music. Hell yeah, dude. Right near the beach. Right. <laughs> Boy! What drew, you, what drew you guys to play ska? Ah, uh, fuck, man. So, my story goes back to... Being 14, 2004, growing up in Linwood. Pre man pads. Pre man pads. <laughs> strictly toilet paper. <laughs> Single ply. Single ply. Yeah, so I mean, I grew up in Linwood. I actually grew up with four buddies. We all lived on the same block. We made a band. Um, their buddies played for like um, Orcus from from, oh. from, Linwood, from Linwood. and oh, You're in their studio right now. Oh, wow. Seriously? Yeah. You yeah. don't see um, the oh, sticker yeah. right there? Under, uh, it says Hope. Yeah. It says Orcus. He was lying. Mm. Four. That's oh, yeah. Four, sir. You don't shit. see you don't see the walls, how they painted? <laughs> that was Eric from Orcus. That's the Orcus. Oh, fucking. shit. That's sick, man. So what were we saying about him? <laughs> no, well, actually, you know, so they, he grew up with, with them playing and gigging. And one of our buddies used to actually drum for them. Um, his name, we used to call him Hammy. He was a young <clears> kid from Linwood High. 
But um, they he introduced us to music. The guy that knew them, he's like, hey, let's make a fucking band. I was like, fuck it. So we were 14. We started playing ska. You know, back then it was like maybe Vida, the old school Viernes, the old school South Central. Yep. Uh, our house was around. The Allen Theater was around. <laughs> so you know, we were one of those kids that came from yeah. that side of town from Southgate, HB, Linwood, Watts. Yeah. It, uh, you know, part of discussing that it's not so alive now, but mm-hmm. it was very big. Yeah. From 2001 to 2009. <laughs> yeah, we threw shows there. So you like you knew like bands like Enemy, the old school Enemy of Roland and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, Roland, that's that's the guy. That's yeah. A family member of. Uh, his name is actually Danny Beefy. He plays a guitar from my other band, Living Out War. There you go. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah we're, we're those kids that grew up on Virginia and, and Linwood. And yeah, you probably saw us. Yeah, it's a good chance. He was fatter and I was thinner. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have a beard. The roles have reversed. <laughs> yeah, It'll always fail, dude. <laughs> 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 we maintain that ugliness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so personally, that's, that's where my music kind of came from. You know, kind of growing up around the guys that were like older than me and they played for De La Araña and, you know, Drunk Skunks. Yeah, dude. The drummer was actually the original drummer for um, Drunk Skunks and yeah. um, our drummer, you know, before his accident. And mm-hmm. um, he actually influenced me a lot into learning how to play the right right playing ska the right way yeah because he was hanging out with these guys from drunk skunks you know like back then it was um the guys from 45 Solarians and mm-hmm. and they knew how to do it and Hell yeah, dr- the drummer is taught me how to do it because he learned from them and i was like you know like this is really what i want to do yeah can we so, saw you guys at the american legion in southgate you had like was half that? the band you didn't have any horns i think i think you probably had one horn it was four of us actually it was uh angel guitar oh, the post yeah, yeah the post yeah <laughs> It was Ralito singer. <laughs> I, I was whistling the I was whistling the horn lines. <laughs> I shit you not. I was That's just what whistling. it was. <laughs> that little thing you heard was me whistling. <laughs> we we were like talking like, dude, these guys are fucking dope, dude. <laughs> yeah. But you're you're a drummer. Um what's the unique thing about him? He's a beast. You know, he's not actually human. <laughs> it's one of those uh, lizard persons. Yeah. So. <laughs> fucking talent, dude. There's yeah, talent behind that. He right? has it's fucking Illuminati. tempo. Yeah, yeah. So there is. There's history. A lot of history. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, I could make it summarize it for you. So we grew up on the same block. Me, him, uh, Danny, Chris. We had a little band. We called it um, La Banda Macabrona. Uh, that was our little <laughs> name. 2003, 2002. Take him um, back. He got picked up by Ultima Caída, which is another ska band. That formed back in the 2000s, 5, 2008, which included members from the 45s, you know, mm-hmm. members from the Delirians. Um, and he played with them for about four or five years. And so, basically, we kind of lost our drummer for a long yeah. time. You know, he went and played with this band, played many shows, and, you know, we were kind of the back burner. He's like, Charlie the Linwood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much, man, pretty much. Was, but but it's cool because when we hung out, we, we learned so much from him, you know? We learned the yeah. proper way to strum our guitars. There you go. The proper way to play our basses. He'll, he'll teach us, like, look, brother, yeah. how you do he it. He came back with lessons, man. He came Fuck with, yeah, dude. Because they're older than him. You know, the guys that yeah. were playing with Fultima Caída. Um, and he actually played with the the band that came before it, um, the Delirians, which I forgot what it was called, the Easy Groove Factory mm-hmm. um, group or something. And, and he taught us how to do this and do that, and we learned a lot from him. Um, unfortunately, he had an accident in, um, a couple years back, and which left him paralyzed mm-hmm. uh, from the waist down. And um, he didn't want to do music anymore. You know? Damn. It's a little personal, but he didn't want to do music anymore. Uh, it being that, honestly, he's like my best friend. I was like, you know what? Fuck it, bro. I'm buying you a drum pad, and you're going to keep this shit going. I want you to keep playing music. You're mm-hmm. not going to stop. Why stop? You know? Yeah. You're talented as fuck. It's in you. Yeah, and he looked at the drum pad. He was kind of looking at it like a, you know, like a bad hamburger. <laughs> oh, you know, I don't want to eat shit. <laughs> I don't know, the fucking bun's kind of black. <laughs> the patty looks kind of old. I don't know. You're looking at the Burger King picture. It looks really fucking good. In yeah, hashtag Whopper McDonald's. <laughs> we, don't, we don't talk about the M word here. It's all fucking Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> all Burger King. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, basically, um, we started jamming with the drum pad, you know, with our other group, Living Out War, the hip-hop group. Uh, we did it for half a year, got a gig. He felt confident. A little bit little, we started assembling his drum kit. Mm-hmm. So we got the drum pad. Then we got a hi hat stand. Yeah. Then after the hi hat stand, we got a snare, mm-hmm. and then slowly but surely we started building it, and then um, now it's it's a whole crazy setup, man. Yeah. He basically plays lefty now. Oh fuck, dude. He has two hi hats on his um, right when they're supposed to be on his left mm-hmm. when it's open and when it's closed. His snare actually, um, you know, big big ups to uh, Clemente actually mm-hmm. who uh, helped him out with his uh, snare. 
he customized a snare for him. He welded a, a hole into it and uh, basically welded um, a trigger point that's connected to the drum pad into the snare. Oh, wow. Which makes it a lot easier. Yeah. Because the way he oh, used wow. it before was um, he used to put the drum pad next to the snare. Yeah. And try to hit hit it at the same time. It worked, but it kind of didn't work. Yeah. So, um, and like Lamenta from Evil Court um, helped him out with that. And he also helped him out with other, other couple ideas of how to make it easier for him to play. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, man, the guy's a beast. Yeah, dude. And he's a robot. He's yeah, we were surprised to see that rhythm coming out of him when we saw him, like, wheel out. Mm-hmm. We're like, oh, fuck, dude. No way, yeah. dude. That's dude. We're like, I'm like, honestly, my mind was fucking blown just seeing <laughs> that. That he fucking overcame all that shit and he's playing fucking drums. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to know the story behind it, to be honest with you, right away. Yeah, it's, it's been a lot of, you know, about three years in the making. Yeah. Honestly, it's been trial and error. It's been this and that. But I think we got it now to a point where it's almost like to perfection. You yeah. Know, some people don't even realize that he's in, in the wheelchair. You know, he yeah. plays, he gets off station. That, like, yeah. Holy shit, you're in the Big surprise. Yeah, dude. You can't What's your fucking tell. excuse, Chris? I have no excuse. <laughs> <laughs> You can't even tell when they asked me to join the band again. I was like, I was a little skeptical, uh-huh. but then I was like, just come jam with us, and I did. Yeah, man, I love that guy. He's, yeah, he's low key. It's inspired me a lot to like, push harder. Yeah, he's a hard like, worker, man. Yeah, yeah. It, it, like I said before, his tempo is just fucking spot on. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. You have to be like he's a robot, it. man. He has like a fucking said. he has a groove to him, dude. Honestly, that like, you yeah. really don't hear. He has, he has a metronome inside. He's his, a machine, yeah, yeah dude. He, machine. he has a clicker in his head, and it's never off. Yeah. I'm just like yeah. he's that kind of guy that can listen to a song and be like oh I know exactly what to do oh yeah. shit dude. you know like you have that buddy that listens to music he's gonna be like oh I know exactly what you're doing and yeah. bam, he'll get a guitar and start doing it oh, he, yeah, he has that gift oh yeah man Yeah, God came with his tip and put it in his ear <laughs> <laughs> I wanna hear from the quiet guy with glasses well I kind of barely joined too so I don't have too much to say yeah, he's been around for a long time <laughs> actually Brian has a long resume of Scott music making hell yeah what other bands were you in bro uh, the longest one I've been in is probably Anesthesia. Okay. Oh shit! Yeah, I was with them for like maybe five, six years. Oh shit, dude! Since high school, like ninth grade. How old are you, man? Like twelve? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I get that a lot. No, I'm twenty four. Oh shit, dude! Double yeah. that age. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we should have asked for their ages before we started handing out beers to everybody. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's too late. It's too, too late. late bro. <laughs> it's cool, bro. Just show me your school ID. <laughs> Like Linwood Middle School. <laughs> <laughs> Show me your lunch pass. He looks like a with a glass. He looks like magnet school, dude. <laughs> hey, but I'm not gonna lie. Like what you said, Angel. Like before, like you said, how you were skeptical about joining too. I was too before because they had asked me a couple years back. Yeah. But then once I saw Ish drumming and I heard you guys again, it was a whole different sound. Yeah. So you, uh, get, you guys look like a group of friends. Like you guys hang out. You guys fucking are buddies. Yeah, you yeah. guys don't fuck each other's girlfriends, kind of fucking bad. <laughs> no, no, not, not, not that kind of. Uh, don't take it that far, bro. <laughs> We're not there yet. <laughs> not yet. No. We, we, I mean, we've slept in the same bed. No homo, you know. No, they, they, they back towards each other. Homo. Yeah, you know, slap the yeah, fuck yeah. out of them, wake the fuck up, you know, type deal. But uh, mm, nuts to butts. <laughs> no, not butts to butts, bro. What are you talking about? So how long have you been in the band, then? I think like a year now. Uh, yeah, 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 I think he's been a little bit over a year. Oh yeah, you know? a year, yeah. But it's it's been a uh, the hardest working year we've had ever. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm talking about. Yeah. We probably played over 100 shows last year. Fuck, you know, yeah. easy. That's busy, man. Yeah, I'm, t- I'm talking about like there's a weekend where we played a show every day. Yeah, and it got to the point where we we're gonna fight <laughs> at the end of the week because <laughs> you know we got tired of our shit. Yeah. You know, but but it was cool because we took a break and we came back and we we're like let's do it again. Yeah. So how did Angel take it? You guys beat on him or? Well, we kind of replaced him for a bit, but, you know. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> they wish. <laughs> no, if, if I'm not there, people are not going to come. They're like, oh, what? Well, he, li- he likes getting hit. So, you know, <laughs> that kind of guy. No, you guys misunderstand. He likes getting hit on, not hit. Oh. <laughs> well, no, a little bit of both. <laughs> so oh, wow. let's, let's uh, go through your songwriting process. How does it get started with you guys? Uh, basically, fuck, man. It's crazy because uh, for the last two years and a half, you know, with the old members, before the band that we have now, we were playing the same exact songs for the last, um, for two years and a half. We played those five songs, you know, that we had our, our typical, um, typical list. And, and now we have, we, we actually added double them on the songs and uh, our songwriting process, um, Draven, the keyboard player actually, um, probably brings about 70% of the ideas to the, to the table. And then we kind of dissect them and make them, make them our own thing. Um, I, myself, I, for the most part, I, I make intros, outros for most of the songs. Mm-hmm. I kind of give out the idea to Ish, the drummer, because me and him have been playing together for about 
over 20 years, so it's easy for me to tell Ish to draw. It's like, hey, bro, this and that and that and that. I connect with him real quick, real easy. Yeah. I have that connection with him, man. So intros, outros, I kind of take care of that for the most part. Um, Draven brings a lot of ideas. Uh, lyrics, Rolito and Draven kind of share that for the most part, Rolito. And um, as far as, like, music making, our new music, uh, which is, like, probably has gotten the most most attention, like, we've ever had. It's, like... Our new song, A I A uh, Terminal Five. Actually, Terminal Five is funny story about that. Remember how, I remember how we most of these new songs are we're like literally fucking around. Yeah, we're like one of us sings something stupid like, and then one of us like doesn't think it's stupid, and they're like, oh, this is actually cool. <laughs> so they go home and then they fuck with it, and they come back and they're like, oh, you're right, it's not stupid. Let's fuck with it, and that's how these songs came about. Yeah, like, like Terminal Five, the song that Draven sings. Literally, um, we were like, Lula, yeah, Lula the trombone player was like saying some dumb shit. He was whoa. like, "Ooh, you stepped on my toe." Because someone <laughs> stepped on his toe, so he started <laughs> singing that shit out loud. <laughs> and then we just kept singing. It was funny and it was catchy, so we kept doing it. And then Draven went home and he was like, "That's not funny." Yeah. So you guys are like rappers. Yeah. He was, he was <laughs> like, and he goes, "Ooh, you never leave me alone." Yeah. Like, <laughs> so the, new, the the process of the new songs is like a, a everybody brings their own thing. Like it's like a soup, you know? Yeah. So, or, like, or like a potluck. Someone bring something different everybody has their own ingredients yeah. 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 Estamos en una salsa. <laughs> yeah. hey, who brings the shit that nobody <laughs> wants to eat <laughs> yeah that's pretty much how it happens i mean uh, honestly we haven't had the opportunity to make new music with the all the members that we have now which is like you know we, we've actually right now recently within the last couple of months you know we're, we're very fortunate at 20 to the, to the list um, we have Kyle Stokes, which is on baritone sax. Um, and a guy is phenomenal. We haven't had the chance to make music or experiment yet, uh, being the fact that we've just been super active with shows. And um, uh, But uh, I'm excited to see what's going to happen once I get all 10 people in the room. And Locked. start stepping on everybody's toes. It's a fist fight. You say sweating or balls off? Yeah. It's a good thing they have those man pads now. <laughs> Whose man pad is this? Hey, there, there's a new song right there, man. Man pad. Man pad. There it is. Yeah, share, don't, don't grab my man pad. Don't grab Are you guys going to share man yeah. pads? Well, uh, we learned that it's not a good thing from uh, sharing. Well, just flip it over and you're cool. Yeah, you, know? you can't share a man pad. As long as you keep the smeg out, you're good, man. Mm-hmm. That's how we all got crabs. <laughs> <laughs> That's the next song right there, the crabs. The crab song. Ooh, you Ooh, gave me yeah. crabs. Yeah. There it is. Crabs so, and fisted curlies. So how do you guys uh, come into the process of writing music? Walk us through like a process. I, I, I think basically somebody would bring a lick. You know, a lick being a catchy groove, mm-hmm. usually a couple chords. Um, it's not even long, 10, 30 seconds. Somebody will start fucking around in the corner. I'm like, oh, shit, it's tight. What <laughs> is that? And um, usually I jam to anything I hear. I hear a drummer doing a beat. Mm-hmm. Start doing a bass line to it. I hear a keyboard doing a beat. Start doing a bass line to it. Yeah, you know, right away, just on instinct, because that's the way I I grew up with these guys on on and then what, you know, like yeah, just jamming all day, fucking around and jamming to anything we hear we heard. Um, so somebody would bring an idea to the table. They wouldn't even present it. They'll just start jamming by themselves in the corner. Mm-hmm. Start jamming before you know it. Angel guitar, hop in. Um, horns kind of come in here and there. Uh, for the most part, horns the entirely. Ivan, Ivan um, Vasquez, our mm-hmm. original sax player, he probably wrote 90% of the, the horn lines mm-hmm. uh, up till the last, like, half year where we had, you know, honestly, like, Brian and um, we've had Lou, we've had um, our, our new horn members actually help with the horn lines. But for the most part, most part the horn line section was Ivan for a long time. Um, and that's kind of how we make our music. Honestly, there's no actual process. Mm-hmm. It's a straight up jam. So anybody could kind of bring in their input. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm very open minded when it comes to that. You know, I'm uh-huh. super open minded. Anything you got, it's it's definitely a worthy opportunity to try and experiment with. Yeah, I don't think anything's trash. But <laughs> at the end of the day, once we get something like we feel like we have something, uh-huh. instead of adding to it, we just polish that. Yeah. How how, long, how many songs do you guys have? I don't know. Like Probably 10. got over about fifteen. 15 good like yeah. good decent ones and you guys are working on more or uh like, yeah we're, we got some in the back burner and oh, yeah. i mean we're pretty much ready to release an album yeah uh it's just a matter of getting in the studio i mean we probably got a, about 75 percent of it recorded already <laughs> got you how so do you guys like, record uh currently i have a setup at the, at the studio we have okay. our own studio nice at francisco studios mm-hmm. you know it's one of the most popular studios for 
Scott Vance, fucking yeah. in LA, you know? Something similar to this, man. This is really cool. Yeah. Shout oh, out yeah. to Vernon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Vernon, man. Exactly. <laughs> Vernon slash Maywood. I was getting off the freeway and I was like, oh shit, look, the studio. And I was coming here. <laughs> <laughs> Other yeah, than, uh, so, I mean, I have um, an interface, and I have like probably you know, um, ten mics. But, you know, I, I got everything in order to record. Yeah, I I personally mix everything myself, and mastering, I I sometimes I outsource and get a little bit of help. But as far as mixing, I do most of it, and mm-hmm. then I probably get about like two months worth of input from the band. Yeah. So I'll get a song, mix it, send it to the group chat, feedback, back to mixing. Yeah, that's the hard part. I'll repeat that process for about like. Um, about two months. Oh yeah, dude. That, that's the way I released uh, Underground Layer. That's actually the first song I ever mixed. And yeah, the recording sounds fucking awesome, dude. Honestly, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. It, honestly, it wasn't like the best, best, but it, it was okay for me to release it. Yeah. You know, we we really wanted to release our music video and that song. It's up Underground Layer. Uh, we, you know, we worked on it for some time, and you know, we're just some dudes that, you yeah. know, we didn't go to school for this, and kind of just do it by ear. Yeah, that's that's how I learned we'll all this shit. Look at your video. We'll um, Kelvin Fumes actually. Kelvin Fumes is a uh, one of one of our. Um, he's, a, he's a cool guy, man. Super talented. He's an entrepreneur. Uh, the guy is the shit. He oh, does yeah. everything. He, I mean, anything you want: stickers, business cards, shirts, websites. Yeah. Uh, he is the man. Um, I met him through a good friend of mine. It's called Alex Roots. Um, he grew up with him. Yeah, he's from. Uh, he's actually from a group called Reverb Iration. They have okay. an actual authentic yeah. um, old school. Uh, sound system made out mm-hmm. of like you know wood and they used to they it, it's crazy yeah. stuff, bro but uh, they have an authentic jamaican sound system and uh basically alex introduced me to um uh kelvin which mm-hmm. you know they went to school together same thing with tony they would all went to school together grew up in the same area in gardena mm-hmm. and the guy uh those videos he lives in the arts arts district um he has a nice camera like hey bro roll up oh yeah how much <laughs> you know he's like well, way to do it dude well we, we need a plot this and that i'm like well, we don't really got one. <laughs> and I'm like, he's like, well, just get, a, just get a bunch of beer and let's do it. I'm like, cool. <laughs> so we got that like a bunch easy. of beer. <laughs> what was that? Oh, yeah, it was that easy. It was that easy. <laughs> that he's was like easy. a multimedia god. Yeah, yeah, the guy's cool, Shit. man. His, his, uh, we might actually, need to call him for our documentary, His man. company, um, actually, <laughs> just to put it out there, his company is, um, um, I believe, MVNT Artistry. Shout um, out. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Kelvin <laughs> Fumes. <Fiennes, laughs> <laughs> he is the guy. He is the guy. Hell he does yeah. our shirts. Um, he does our videos. He does our um, our flyers, and that's the guy we use. So he's your boggle. <laughs> he's your boggle. <laughs> it's funny. Now. He just shot me a text right now. His <laughs> fucking ears are ringing, dude. I swear to God, Kelvin Dre. What's up? What's up, man? What up, man? I swear Talking to God. shit, homie. What's up? <laughs> What's up? Yeah, man. Seen your video today, man. It's pretty dope. Yeah, yeah, man. Kelvin's sick, man. Uh, but um. What song are we gonna play first for you guys? Uh, I think we should definitely play um, "Aya Aya." What's what's the premises on that song? It's a Aya, hit. Aya it's a hit. Is, is based on a woman. It's women. no particular woman, no particular it's girl. It's, mm. it's just uh, all around. I, I think a feeling we all, all a feeling we could all share on both sides, male and female. Awesome, man. You so know? this is Aya Aya. Aya Aya.
like. Dope. These are dope, man. These are dope. <laughs> so let's talk about your EP. It's Wait, releasing. let's talk about the song. Yeah, that's what it's on the EP, right? Yeah, yeah. It, it should be the I believe the fourth song, Aya Aya. Mm-hmm. Where, where can it's people a, find your music? It's the third song. It's the third song. Uh, where can people find your music at? Uh, we're actually listed in all digital platforms. We're on oh, Spotify. Yeah. We're mm-hmm. on um, actually on Apple Music. Apple Music. Yeah, on SoundCloud. Um, SoundCloud. Um, Rapster, Bandcamp, LimeWire, Pornhub, <laughs> Trunk of My Car. Yeah, Daylight basically, <laughs> we're, we're, we're pretty much not digital digital platforms. You can find us. So that's spelled E L L A E L A, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, yeah, yeah. Spanish for uh, her, 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 her. Yeah, I think A I A sounds better than her. Yeah, I think that one song. It's an interesting song. Yeah, it was uh written by our singer. Ralito. He he wrote it and he was uh, he had felt some sort of way, some certain type of way, and uh, that's what came out. Oh, nice. Is it, he, he didn't got, even he try. Got he was, <laughs> uh, it was not more of that. It was just more like it's just the way he felt at the time. And gotcha. It, it just, just came out. Living life, you know. Vibing. Oh yeah. yeah. You know what? We didn't do that. Who's not here from your band? Let's give him a shout Ooh. out. Uh, so we're missing a total of probably eight people. So let's do it. We got time. All right. <laughs> shout out to uh, Draven. What does he play? Yeah, 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 he plays yeah. keyboard, does key uh, vocals. Um, actually, um, he, it's a lot of a lot of help as, as far as like you know mm-hmm. helping with managing, making music, the whole nine yards. Um, we got Draven uh, playing keyboards. Shout out Ishmael drums. Mm-hmm. You know the RoboCop. <laughs> um, yeah, the guy's the shit, man. Ish. Yeah, two hundred nine. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, we got Ish. We got Draven. Um, dog. Rhythm section. We also got um, Ralito, the singer, main vocals. Mm-hmm. Uh, craziest motherfucker right now, you oh, know. Yeah, dude. dude dances, jumps, does jumping jacks, uh, push ups <laughs> on stage. He does everything. <laughs> yeah, he, he's the shit, man. He <laughs> looks like he, he looks like he exercises, man. Yeah, he does a backflip on stage. Yeah, he does. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we're missing Rolito, we're missing Draven, Ish. Um, that's pretty much the rhythm section. Then we also have like four horn players that four horn players that are, that are not here. We had Kyle Stokes on baritone. Uh, we got Morden Conde, uh, mm-hmm. plays tenor. Um, we also have Mimi on trumpet. Um, Caesar. Um, uh, Caesar. We have you know we also have another sax player that helps out here and there. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're missing <coughs> Ivan Vasquez, which is uh, another sax player. It's originator, original member. Um, Miguel. We're missing Miguel Slight Um Guy's a beast, <laughs> tallest, <laughs> biggest guy in the band. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't even you, know, you could notice that guy when, when he's on stage. <laughs> big motherfucker. There he is. He's got that tromboner. <laughs> Dude, you got a big fucking band. That's that almost sounded like the reading and of the you. names for nine eleven. Uh, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. We <laughs> forgot one more though. Oh, yeah. Lou. 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 Oh, and Lou. You can't forget Lou, man. You're get that. He's the most sensitive guy in the band. The dirty best. You almost yeah. forgot him, dude. Nah, Lou. He's gonna be like, "Fuck you guys." Yeah. Why am I hey, like, hey, "Hey, Lou, 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 Lou. I remembered you, Lou." Yeah. Yeah. Lou, 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 that guy. He's that guy, man. That will you know hold a grudge against you forever. Yeah. But oh. he's the chillest motherfucker right now. Hell he yeah, likes dude. to party. He likes to have fun. And he's all about good vibes. He'll be mad at you talking shit, but the same time giving you a pedio shirt so you can like cure from your cruda. You mean you mean pedio? Like whatever, <laughs> <laughs> they both do the same shit. I don't know. I, I will trust something called Pedia Shirt more than yeah. Pedia Light. That, no, he's right. It's Pedia Light. Pedia Light. It's so, um, sweat on sweat on What does he play? Uh, he, plays, he, plays, he, plays, uh, he plays uh, Bob trombone. trombone. Yeah, so it's not your typical trombone. Most trombones are slide, but his trombone is a hybrid between a trumpet and a trombone. So it had the little three things on top. You usually see those in like a banda, banda. music. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Well, he came from ONK actually, Operation. No one knows. Okay, and, um, which came from. And um, he's been with us for about a year and a half, and that's cool, man. We can't get rid of him. We tried. <laughs> hey, you guys are making him more sensitive right now, man. Exactly. <laughs> he's going to hold a grudge against you guys. Hey, hey, hey yo, Louie, don't hold a grudge, dog. As long as he brings that Pedia light, I don't give a love. fuck. I'll get you for you, this. I'll get you hey, for this. Bring, bring that Pedia shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I think Pedia shirt is protein. Actually, I like well, I like that. Bomb, I drink in Gatorade for a crew that time. Yeah, yeah but like, see, but Pedialyte is like a, a Gatorade on roids, you know? Yeah, so like, yeah, yeah. It needs yeah. electrolytes. <laughs> it's like for when babies are shitting themselves. <laughs> for a baby, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that movie, Idiocracy? Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> they're feeding the plants need. Gatorade and shit. <laughs> it's, what, it's what plants crave. <laughs> what, is, what was it called? Brando? Brando, yeah. Brando. So we got electrolytes. We, we got man pads and Pedialyte. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to shout party? out? <laughs> you guys should You're be sponsored by, sponsored by this. <laughs> shout right. out to CVS where you could find both. <laughs> I know, right? All right, yeah. so back to y'all's music. Uh, how many <laughs> albums do you have out there? 
<laughs> we got one EP. One EP. And we also have a digital EP of our um, five original songs. Um, and so basically, um, we have our first um, EP that we released back in uh, 2000. What was that? Uh, 2016. Uh, we were recorded by Crucial, a bass player of the Steady 45s. At, at the old uh, Groove Factory in Whittier. Um, so we released our f first five original songs there. Um, our original EP, we actually called it, um, uh, we called it the the, um, the Eruption. The Eruption. Yeah. Uh, it's on YouTube, SoundCloud, and that's pretty much as far as um, um, our original EP made it. And then um, recently, last year in December, uh, we released our, our Time Is Now, mm -hmm. our most recent EP. Uh, which includes our most recent music. Um, we have our, our most recent um, um, people that are in the band mm -hmm. in, in that music. Um, it was a compilation of many, not a lot of people, but overall probably about 15. Which no, not a lot of people. <laughs> just 15, man. Damn. Just, just fucking half of the Holocaust. <laughs> well, yeah. You're like the Wu-Tang of Ska. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, pretty much. Pretty so much. Like when they take a picture, that fool has to be really in the bag. You know, like the photographer has to go way back and shit. All right, but he squeezed. Yeah. Uh, I've been waiting to ask this for a while now. Uh -oh. <clears throat> Tell us some funny road stories, dude. Uh, before I go there, I just want to say a big shout out to Stellan Flores. Yep. Uh, he was a pioneer of our EP for our time. It's now he mm -hmm. recorded, he mixed, he mastered. Uh, he made sure we all got got in the studio and made that EP possible. It wasn't yeah. for him. A lot of the horn lines too. You yeah, he, he actually uh, pr produced and composed uh, most of the horn lines uh, in that EP. So big shout out to Stellan Flores from uh, Mata Mosca. Um, he plays for a lot of bands. The interrupters. The interrupters. He's played for the interrupters. Yeah, that guy has played for a lot of bands, and he he is. The D man in oh, this yeah. scene. The yes. Stefan? Stefan. He's a man. He's a man. Yeah. He's a man. He used to play for Dub 8, too. Yeah, Dub 8. <coughs> oh, is that him? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So you guys oh, must man. have heard of fucking Chen yep. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. yeah, they played with them. Oh, yeah. you guys played together? Yeah. Oh, there you go, man. Yeah. So, um. At the post, right? Yeah. Yeah. When I was whistling. <laughs> so now, uh, oh, man. <laughs> like you said, we're going to talk about Stefan Flores. So now let's kick it off to some fucking road stories. Ciao. Like we're going to get spooky now up in here. Yeah, we're going to get in trouble. Man. Hey, hey, nothing to get you in trouble. You remember? Oh, man. Don't All take right. skanks to the ska show. <laughs> do it, do it, do it, man. Just do it. I mean, let me see. I gotta go. Some one. Juicy shit. Man. All right, I started hey. off. Started off because I, I have. Okay, we're not gonna. Hey, we're hey. not gonna. You know, put names out there or anything. But <laughs> remember that one guy that picked up on that one chick, and her family was there. Oh. And her boyfriend was there. Oh, oh damn, dude. dude. And he did it during the pit while the band was playing. <laughs> damn. <laughs> You just that told him, man. <laughs> hey, 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 Tony, Tony, why are you leaving, dog? <laughs> all, we, all I knew Hello? was like, I'm looking at Brian, bro. The last yeah, Brian. <laughs> he looks <laughs> innocent, but I don't know, dog. The <laughs> waters. Yeah, man, too much. The last thing I heard was like, we got to get out of here. I was like, oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> that's, like, always, oh. that's never good. No, it was fun. <laughs> so tell us the story. <laughs> right, um, uh, how about we, we uh, stay to watch the specials? <laughs> oh, that's and, a great and then story. we left at midnight and got to LA like at noon. Okay. <laughs> From Vegas. All right, so let's, let's talk about, that's uh, uh, punk rock bowling, right? Yeah, let's talk about last week. Last week, actually, it was probably the most interesting uh, adventure to date that we've had, uh, honestly. Um, Tony, take it off, man. Well, Caesar's phone broke, and so we were driving around Memorial yes, Day. Yes, yes. But how did it break? <laughs> <laughs> you were trying to prove that your your phone case was waterproof. <laughs> so let me rephrase that. I, um, I was so to, it wasn't right. I was, I was trying to prove that my iPhone XX XXX X, 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 mass whatever the fuck was waterproof. I didn't have a phone case and. I went down this water slide at the Golden Nugget in Vegas. <laughs> that fucking water slide. And there's like sharks and shit, and it's fucking sick. So I, I go down the water slide with my phone. I record, and I'm like, fuck yeah, that was dope. I get out, and then my buddy, Lou, and his buddy that actually worked for Apple that didn't know work for Apple at the time, he's like, hey, bro, you know your phone's not waterproof. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? So I get my phone, and I throw that shit in the, in the pool. Uh. I get it out, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> the big difference was. between so that was, that was, that was the resistance. iPhone X. That was a no phone. Huh? Was, that the, was that the iPhone X? Yeah, he just said it did not work. So let me get this straight. The shallow end of the pool. Hold, hold on, hold on. I gotta, I, I gotta understand. I put, I put mine underwater, dog. <laughs> okay, I gotta, I gotta. How deep? I gotta understand. Now, let's do it right now. <laughs> I dropped it now. So you were away from home. 
you you were in a you put yourself in a situation where you needed your phone. Yeah. And you felt the need to prove that that fucking phone was <laughs> waterproof at that time. You know, I had a couple beers. I was having a good time. It's Vegas, man. I was in Vegas. Proving yeah. himself. I just, I just went down the water slide that had sharks inside of it. There's sharks. Damn. Damn. As soon as I get out, my buddy tries to ruin my moment. He's like, it's not waterproof. I'm like, shut the fuck up. So I throw it in the water. And, it, and guess what? Yeah, it wasn't waterproof. <laughs> but hey, <laughs> hey your, your friend sounds like a buzz killer, dude. But did a, fu- <laughs> hey, but did a shark bite you? <laughs> A uh, little baby shark did. Yeah. Baby, baby shark, shark did. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that shit was coming. I knew it was coming, dog. There's kind of a silver, this is so, silver lining, though, because um, after that, we drove around Memorial Day looking for Verizon. <laughs> right? oh, a little know, too personal. My bad. There. Yeah, continue the story. But then uh, the best deal <laughs> that was found was an iPad. <laughs> so long story short we went back to the festival with an ipad looking legit like we worked there oh shit yeah. and yeah. we got backstage and on stage <laughs> oh, and everywhere because we needed to check stuff you know the ipad yeah. it's like, nice all right, so, so you guys were like uh, official, uh, official yeah so i went to verizon because I, need, I needed a phone i was like oh shit i need something because like, my work i need a phone yeah and i was basically working the next day that day so i needed to work so i'm like ah oh, fuck it go to verizon cheapest thing to do to get a phone is get an ipad yeah i hooked it up to my iCloud. cool everything's good uh, we showed up to the show, like Tony said, you know, and, and we got uh, we got backstage, but the thing about punk rock bowling, there's like four different levels of backstage, Fuck. okay? I mean, I mean, you can get intimate, and then you can get really intimate. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Basically, iPad, iPad unlocks so doors. I walk, I walk. <laughs> so you, you heard it first here on La Clica podcast. Take an iPad, and you'll get back there. Yeah. To the fourth intimate setting. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so. We, we, got, we got intimate, man. We got to the point where we got to hang out with... Uh, uh, we got to hang out with the guys backstage, man. You know, we got to hang out with Joey Castilla from The Hives. Um, he's also from uh, Queens of the Stone Age. Mm-hmm. You know, he's a local from Gardena. We got to hang out from yeah. uh, Steve. Steve, uh, he's actually the guitar player, one of the original guitar players for Descendants. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got to hang out with... Um, uh, we took a picture with what's his name from Choking Victim, um, the main dude. Yeah, okay. singing from Choking Victim. Mike from He Suicidal. has like four different names. <laughs> Sa, uh, Crack Daddy Kane. <laughs> yeah, but they were all cool, man. They were all humble. They were all chill. Yeah. You know, I how did that start off? Like, hey, nice iPad, come talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, so what happened? <laughs> well, I walk up to the entrance and the dude's like, "What's up, bro?" And I'm like, "What's up, man?" He's like, "You know, I'm just doing something, bro." He's like, "Oh shit, well get in, bro." All right, well I got like six of my friends right here too. They're helping me out with sound. <laughs> walk right in. And he's like, oh, dude. Hey, he got in because he's like, "Hey, do you guys yeah. wear man pads?" And they're like, "Yup, yeah, come on in." He just yeah, showed him the man pads. They're like, "You guys are road warriors." Come on, man. I wasn't there, so fuck. Did you? That's really what happened. He fuck. said, I, gotta, well, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't say it, but lied. I pointed at my iPad and then I pointed at the speakers and he looked at me and I, I pointed at my friend in the wheelchair and he was like, okay. Seems official. <laughs> so, what happens to your phone in Vegas? Stays. Your phone stays in Vegas. Right? <laughs> it just stayed yeah, there. It, it RIP'd in Vegas. And, I would have buried that yeah, shit. Right and there. basically, yeah, uh, we got backstage while the fucking specials were playing. They were on the stage while they were playing. And it was like the best shit ever, you know. That that chick that started playing with with the specials, um, the one that basically is Sophia is, something, Safara Khan. Yeah. It, 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 she has a very uh, authentic name, you know. It's, it's different, but uh, um, she was playing, and, and we got there as soon as she was playing, and um, it, it was cool, man. It was cool. We got to be on stage while they while they were playing, and they finished. It was the last band. They were the headliner. Everybody went backstage, and most of the headliners were kicking it. We kicked it with um the guy from Suicidal Tendencies. Fucking yeah, sick. Shout out to Mike. It's funny because while all this was going on, I was like, we were driving back to LA and I, we stopped like six, seven times Fuck. to throw up. Damn. Road stories. <laughs> oh, that's half the story. Now, now let's get to the juicy part. <laughs> the climax. Dun, dun, dun. The climax. The, the what? The climax for my car, oh, yeah, my yeah, car yeah, died. Yeah. And, so we stayed know? for the specials, which was like, you know, worth it because we were on stage. And then it's like midnight, so we have to head back to L.A. We're going back, and Caesar, man, he was a trooper right here, man. He was like <laughs> staying awake. I passed out for a little bit. Came back. We're still on the road. And at some point, when we're like, where? Azusa? Yeah, Glendora? no, we're like Glendora, San Gabriel Valley, um, 30 minutes away from L.A., basically. D- yeah, decided to get off the freeway, and then we just hear, Bow! Oh, fuck. Crazy my my Land yeah. Rover, which is like 4,000 pounds, turned into a lowrider. <laughs> 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 Fucking tire pop. 
Uh, nah, man. Low it, rover? It dude, turned into fucking, a low rover uh, after that? Fucking drive have, shaft fell off. They have yeah, an air ride system. <laughs> so the drive shaft connects the front <laughs> transmission to the back transmission. What the It fuck? literally came off, broke oh. a piece of the tranny, <laughs> broke itself off, and uh, fucked up my rear uh, tranny the, with the differential or some yeah. shit. Damn. And, uh, yeah, so I, I pulled over on uh, right off the freeway. I think it was like the 210 or some shit. And um, I look under my car, and I'm like, oh, shit, it's missing something. And I look down, and <laughs> there's a piece of metal on the floor, bro, with a gang of oil. I'm like, my car oh, fucking, shit. my car self-destructed. Wow. It fucking literally fucking self-destructed. Fuck, so, Yeah, so basically you buy lemons. <laughs> you bought a shitty iPhone and a <laughs> shitty fucking Land Rover. None, nothing. Dude, no, you wh- know what? where's your luck? That's not salado, not. man. You need, uh, yeah, you, you need a cura, man. Yeah, man. Curadero. No, you, know what, you know what happened? I was supposed to go home the day before. Uh, that, hey, that, that don't me. make up for it. Hey, he's, he's gonna wake up with the roof on his chest. <laughs> hey, but I'll tell you this much. hey, yo, Caesar, I'm gonna call you the breaker, dog, because he be breaking break. everything. Dog. Hey, you know what? I be breaking. breaking that shit in, bro. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> so, so don't go to Vegas. Is what you're saying? Dude. It was worth it. <laughs> hey, but that car was overdue. Dude. No, no, it's more like yeah. if you swim with sharks, don't, don't take your iPhone more. out. <laughs> no, that car was already overdue for that. Yeah, yeah it was worth it, man. That car ran into the ground. It's a band car. I leave it at the studio, and I only use it for shows. Hey, you know what? I'll take a moment to say grace uh, to that man roll. Rest R. in R. peace R. to the iPhone X. Salud. Salud. Everybody drink up. Drink Day. up. Salud. Rest in peace to the Land Rover. Damn, almost rest in peace to the mixer right here. <laughs> <by Chris. laughs> there's, the, there's nothing in here. All right. <laughs> good, and, good, and, good. And the iPhone. And the iPhone. That's why the iPhone X. <laughs> Hey, fucking All right, um, drown so in peace. He's back right to his um, generation 2 iPhone. iPhone 8, small, cracked. You know, so right now we're gonna shout out to Apple and um, the iPhone obviously is not waterproof. He was in two feet of water and his shit <laughs> yes. died. Yeah, in like two seconds. Contact them. Contact. Hell yeah. All right, you heard. Just it don't first throw your year. iPad in the pool, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or or else you're gonna be or else you're gonna be i mad. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, that's a rough. I think yeah. The water was, was like it. very acidic in the pool, you know, like. Hey, all those App- punk rockers peeing yeah. in there and shit. It was yeah. punk rock pee. Yeah. Apple's gonna, yeah. hey, Apple's gonna be that, like, we don't cover cool. fucking piss water or fucking <laughs> semen. You know, yo, yo, fuck our crabs, bro. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> that pool is pretty, basically like ball sweat stew. Mm-hmm. Is it? Hey, it is Vegas. I bet if you would have taken the iPhone to Apple and been like, what's wrong with it? Like, dude, your phone got herpes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even the water, no, man. Because when you get in the pool, everybody takes their man pad off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they would have been like, hey, bro, I think your phone needs a man pad. We need to make waterproof man pads. Shit, uh, my uh, phone, my phone didn't have a virus. It got hepatitis C. <laughs> Ching, gone herpa syphilis. <laughs> needs a ten- tetanus shot. Everything, bro. It's a hybrid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, so, shit. what have been some of the shows that you guys played that you know you fucking loved beyond you know punk rock bowling, of course, where you just mentioned mm-hmm. something else that you remember? It was like that show was the shit, dude. To me, like coming back from punk rock bowling, we ended up opening up for HR from Bad Brains. Damn Ooh. it. Wow. That's the bad brains of shit, right? Which there. is wow. like, yeah, I'm like, Holy okay, shit. I retire. Yeah, <laughs> I could die happy now. You can die tonight. Like, yeah, he was, just, he was <laughs> chilling. It doesn't matter start. anymore. Yeah, <laughs> take my man pad. All right, what, what, what about the obverse? What was the worst show you guys played? Ooh, the worst show, know. man. We've had a lot of shows last <laughs> year, man. Like, Scott basically, Wars. the rest of them. We played with the one and Star Wars. Wow. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, we played Skullland. And, Usually, and if they're bad, it's because hey. I'm drunk as shit and I don't remember. <laughs> So, I wasn't in the band. Put you up there with strings. Oh, man. I just remember. It's like, Angel, wrong song. Like, what? <laughs> dude, dude, fucking Caesar's looking at his phone like if he has a list of the people he hates. He's like, these He's are all ready. the people I hate playing with. He's bringing out the hit list. He's like, so I hate playing with them. I hate playing with these motherfuckers. All the shows we play this year. You came fucking prepared, man. That's good, <laughs> that's good man. Yeah, man. Tijuana No was awesome. Yeah, yeah Tijuana No was dope. Yeah, Skullland was awesome. Slackers, Toasters. What was that, like a uh, Mexican or a Guatemalan band we opened? For too. Oh, that shit oh, was oh, sick. Um, uh, Malacates. Yeah. Treble Shop. The, from we did not know the, that the was the fucking there. the most lit show we yeah, played. It was no, packed. It was like 200 Guatemalans. Oh, damn. Yes, I remember. And it, so I'm, it was a short pit, I'm Guatemalan. Right? Yeah, yeah, they're all short, bro. <laughs> and I'm, I'm Guatemalan, hey, bro, hey, myself. But you but know? They're angry, man. And, and they're I already knew what, what's going to happen. They're angry people, bro. They're oh, fucking, my God. And they started, angry people. they started poking me, bro. What do you mean? They, they started, don't like it because you're taller. They started poking me, dog. Like, at first, I was like, you? And then I saw it was not just him. It was like a whole... 
a bunch of them. And I was like, <laughs> like are those midgets? Are, no, they're Guatemalan. What are they called? Uh, chapines? Oh, yeah, chapines? Chapines. Yeah. Yeah. Chapines. They were rough, cool. man. I got what you looking at, I mean, Chapines? I, I said, Arriba Guatemala, and these fools were starting breaking windows and yeah. fucking oh, punching out the, the bartender. Crowd, no, they were lit, man. Yeah. Their energy was probably like the, <laughs> the best. best energy we've had all year. Hell Fuck yeah. yeah. You know? So, fucking bullies that's good if you guys want to play a dope show play with the chapinas man yeah man they're, they're, they're kind of cool people was, i think they the, were, I they think were the, older people too yeah, yeah they, they were older the, they were like my oh, fuck. Like, but you like could tell parents. they were like first generation you know i mean yeah. like were they in chanclas or what what i just with tires <laughs> tires on the bottom did yeah, every tires. single one of them come with a fucking quetzal bird on their shoulder or what <laughs> pretty much bro pretty much Sick. They, yeah, they looked bro. at him immediately and like, oh, I know. If anybody knows out there from La Clica podcast land, a quetzal is, you know, the bird, the national bird of Guatemala. It's and it's mystic. also the dollar. It's called it quetzal. Yeah. So your show, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So basically, back in the times, if you killed the quetzal, they gave you death. You See, there you go. That was the law, dude. dude. Yeah, that, that was the law of the land during... Before Christ, you know, yeah. it, it, during the Mayan times, if you kill the fucking bird, the they're, they're going to come and chop your head off. Yeah, it's a national like, bird. It's like killing it's the bald eagle. And it's still protected, yeah. I heard they can't yeah. even, like, survive anywhere else. No, they're only to that particular they're area. They're only right there. Yeah. Hey, but the, Guatemalans the can. <laughs> the bird, maybe not the bird, but Man, I seen, the, hey, that? I seen the Guatemalans all over it. Fucking, uh, where is it? Um, right here, fool. No, 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 the fucking the lake right there. Um, MacArthur, MacArthur, MacArthur Park, yeah. That's oh, Chapin, yeah, fucking, a lot of them, dog. That's Chapin City, right? Yeah, little Guatemala Pavilion. Yeah. Hey, funny story. That's where Bagu got his ID. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got it on Pacific, fool. Hey, no, no, no. no. You I got it. I got it. Actually, you passed right under like. Yeah, you can throw up the sign, yeah. Social security. Mika. That's where I got my mika, first mika, ID. Mika, mika. You start a whole new life. Oh, yeah, I got on Pacific. You go to Watts and they're like, mota, mota, mota. You go to fucking MacArthur Park, it's like, mika, 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 mika. mika. Yeah. You know? A whole new life. Yeah, I'm walking around from, I'm walking home from school, bro. I was like, I look, I look like I'm coming home from school. They're like, mika, mika, mika. I'm like, bro. <laughs> Yeah. No, you know, <laughs> he's like, I made hey, it. I don't need it anymore. <laughs> I was, I was in the army, dude, and it, army uniform, and I got hit up for Mika on fucking Pacific, dude. Yeah. Mika. Seguro, seguro, yeah. seguro, seguro. Hey, Mika, 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 Mika. Angel. Hey, then they realized maybe they, they want, they want to switch your names. Maybe I want to be Robert. You know? Hey, yo, Angel, you look like you might need a Mika though, dog. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just fucking. He does, bro. He does. He's not from here. Hey, he's the only one in the band that does. I mean, that's Chinito, man. Angel, Filipino, bro. Chill. <laughs> there was a long boat ride, homie. Yeah. <laughs> Fresh off the boat right yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to get like ladies, like old uh, Filipino ladies coming up to me and they mm -hmm. start speaking to me in Tagalog. And I'm yeah. like, I'm Mexican. They're like, se dice? No. Se dice? Uh, and I'm saying, call you Paklak. Yeah, <laughs> you know, but uh, I, re I just tell people I'm Hawaiian. <laughs> hey, now you gotta be fatter for that, dog. <laughs> I'll get there. Fatter, darker. I'll get there. Wa Hawaiian via Mexico. <laughs> and the cult Samoan, bro. Cult Samoan. So, what was your worst show? <laughs> we either <laughs> <Hell. laughs> the worst show. Man. Rewind. Worst show. <laughs> uh, let me see. And what did you learn from that show? Not to drink that oh. much. <laughs> oh. Oh. I think I know. So at the post, cough medicine and at the uh, post actually. <laughs> really? And no, what, what happened? What happened? Oh man? shit! Oh, man, Speak on it, homie. I got some good tea, but I don't know if I should release it. Do oh, it, do oh, it, do it. Do it. Oh, no man. names, no names, no names. Yeah, yeah. We'll I'll, just, I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll just say our sax player. So we had, we have oh. four different sax players. Oh. No, no, but we got four different sax players. It could be thirty. His people. lady right now is like this motherfucker. <laughs> our sax player, man. I yeah. thought you didn't say anything. Who played that night, man? It was us. Um, Chen uh, in the, with the Chen South Central Skankers. South yeah. Central Skankers. It was a really good show. Mm -hmm. yeah, the turnout was, was great. Full house, packed. It was actually uh, Evil Cork, um I don't know if you guys saw my friend Gato over there stripping. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Our ex drummer. I got a picture of him. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. I got a video. I got yeah, a video. That, a homie. He, our our ex drummer got on stage naked. Oh, shit. Hey, yeah. that was a dope show. Heavy Drunk Cartel played, too. Yeah. Oh, they did. Oh, yeah. Shout yeah. out to them. Man. Yeah. Missed yeah, it. that was dope. Yeah, so I mean, wow. uh, that was probably the craziest worst show we've ever had. <laughs> it, it was good, but it was just like a lot of shit happened that night. A lot of shit. What know? made it worse? What, what made it your worst um, show? Um, our 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 um sax player. <laughs> Remember, we have four different sax players. Well, you know, one of our sax players decided that he wanted to get super fucked up and fight everybody. No, fuck. <laughs> he wanted to fight um a lot of the promoter. He wanted to fight the bands. He wanted to fight the cops. He wanted to fight the bandmates. 
He wanted to fight uh, um, himself. himself. The president. He wanted to fight the floor. <laughs> See, but the, the thing about him trying to fight these people is that it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> he was Cause, naked. Cause, right? no, no, just no. just the way he tries to fight you. So, hey, he starts to, like, f- like, it's fun and games, but no, he wants to fight you. <laughs> he calls you out. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, not those. <laughs> Let me find the video. What date is Shout that? Shout out to God. What exact date? I don't is that? have the date on here, man. Uh, I just downloaded dude. these pictures on my phone. Uh, shit, Dude. your phone will tell you. God damn. I just, I it's remember not a, that. It's day. not an iPhone. This guy's stomach looks like a dog face, like, like <laughs> the eyes and the fucking nose. Oh, <laughs> look at that shit. Yeah, so that's our, that's our extra word. <laughs> it looks like a dog face, man. <laughs> Um, we will upload the picture along with uh, the podcast. This so is the podcast picture right here. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> we won't show you his actual face, but you will see the image of the stomach that looks like a dog face. I'm going to Photoshop your guys' name on his stomach. That looks like a potato head. Right? Yeah, he's sad. He's he's sad. Potato so head that was right a pretty there. crazy show, I bet. Man. Yeah, he started twerking on stage and shit. <laughs> oh, man. It's all the good shit. It kind of looks like Chris without hair. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm taking a look at your guys' pin right now. What was the idea behind, you know, this logo? I see it's uh, like a speaker with arms and some dudes driving this motherfucker. Yeah, funny story. Actually, that guy, that picture you just showed me, that naked uh-huh. guy, he actually made that logo. <laughs> there what, it is. What Perfect it segue. Well, I mean, I think it means like back in the Jamaican days when I, they they like, they like started doing sound systems, the like they will build them off of wood and yeah, shit. And then yeah. that's what they were called, you know, like. Like, they were, like, DJs and shit. Yeah. It was, like, back in the day, that's all they had. Huh. Oh, you mean, like, a dub controller? Yeah. Like well, that, like they, they used to have competitions uh, who so, could yeah. build so the that, biggest so that, fucking uh, speaker. Yeah. yeah, we still do that in L.A. right now. Yeah, we do. Yeah. I mean, not a lot of people do it, but, like, that's yeah. kind of what I've been helping. Yeah, yeah, like, the, like reverb sound system. Reverb, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, like, we Ghost a, Town and all those guys. Huh. We got a spot called the Hi-Fi Lounge. Huh. And we focus just on sound systems. Mm-hmm. And actually, that's a big thing with hip-hop, too. They say that, uh, like, Ku Herc. Which exactly. was Jamaican He actually came to New York And he was known for Having the biggest fucking speakers And they came from Jamaica Because like, that was, they like were known for that watt. shit It's crazy They dude, were huge They it's, were it's huge Basically like, it's like Four way or five way And there's like highs mm-hmm. High mids Low mids yeah. Lows And you can like Change the frequency of the songs Where right? you cut them out Bring them in uh-huh. Just like just bass Yeah Bring the, in the vocals Cut them out Like you know you can, And they were huge The shit they used to build back then yeah. Huge Back in the 70s like Big towers, fucking bro. And they used to be He's basically the one That started throwing shows Yeah Like the first motherfucker yeah. To start throwing Being from Jamaica shows. Cause that's what they did And then you freestyle yeah, exactly. he brought the speakers and everybody was like, what the fuck yeah. is, what kind of music is this, you know? Okay, and up. now I know why, you know, that's your logo. Well, it's that's crazy because um, they call, like, even in Jamaica when that started, when that started, you know, like the sound system, the DJ is not the DJ, right? The guy freestyling is the DJ. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, like, in America, that's the rapper. Mm-hmm. And the guy's so the MC. Yeah, it's the like MC, different. DJ. Yeah. But that's what led the way in hip-hop and everything. Exactly. And nobody's doing it out here, mm-hmm. you know. But Reverberation's doing it, and um, a couple other dudes are doing it, like Jot Thunder, Sound System. Okay. From nice. Riverside out there. And What other music you guys listen to, man? Other than ska, I know you guys ska, man, but any, what other influence you guys have? Well, personally, I grew up with salsa and and stuff like that. Like old school shit, like like oh shit, mariachi shit. Or and, and then yeah, as I got older, Those I started panchos? explaining. Yeah, yeah, trios. Oh, oh shit. panchos, shit. that's a oh, shit right yeah. there. Panchos, shit. fuck yeah. Uh, yeah, so I grew up with all that Tequila. stuff. I only started yeah. listening to ska when I after I graduated from high school. I was like yeah. a little, I was in marching band and jazz band, and I come out with my guitar, <laughs> and then I get Ralito, our lead singer, come up to me. He's like, you want to play ska? And I was like, like is okay. it hard? Man? What is that? <laughs> is it hard? <laughs> here's like, a here's a forty. Here's some here's some checker shit, homie. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> You're ready. Here's a pair of Vans, dog. Yeah, bro. <laughs> you know? Like honestly, I've never been like too much into ska, but one thing I do notice: any ska show, the fucking best girls, dog. Like oh. so many hot girls at ska shows, dog. You know. And that's why I like ska. I mean, yeah, when you guys played at the Pulse, yeah. I was like, damn, that girl's hot. Yeah. Damn, that girl's hot. Oh, but damn. She might be underage. <laughs> <laughs> you're hey. Like, you're like that movie, uh, what's it called? Uh, Night at the Roxbury. Oh, yeah. What's, what's, up? Up? what's, what's up? up? What's up? What's up? Hey, yeah. no joke. Me and Chris are probably the oldest guys there, dude. Yeah. We were the oldest guys yeah. there. Uh, we had man pads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when the security checked them in, they're like, are you guys bringing in your daughters or what's going on? <laughs> Who's your kid? We'll go get him. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, what's this? I was oh, like, that's yeah. my mind pad. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are tired at 10 o'clock this year. You got to yeah. go, man. We were. We were out. Damn. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, we didn't stay very long, did we? No. Did, all all right. right. To the end. 10 o'clock. All right. Do we? So, <laughs> the other day. All right. Capping on La Clica podcast right here. These motherfuckers. 
Um, we went to go cover some fucking show, what, Saturday? Mm-hmm. Was it Saturday? Mm-hmm. So I show up at 12, dog. These guys are already fucking gone. <laughs> I show yeah. up and I'm like ready to party. I'm like, should I go? Should I not? I was like, you know what? Like, I, I got to show up for the podcast. I show up and I, I call up fucking Chris. Phone doesn't even ring, dog. Yeah, she's off the ring. Like, he turned his shit off. Like, He's on this fool. Third fucking so dream. I call Rick and Rick's like, what's up, man? And I was like, hey, dude, um, I'm right here at the show. We fucking took off, man. And I was like, what do you mean? We checked out the first band. That was it. Fuck this place, man. Uh, be honest, I was like, fuck. What happened? What happened? I'll say the name. No, we only want to go see one band. And they there a second or third band on. So after that, we're like, fuck it, it's bounced. I got to work the next morning and shit, dude. So. <laughs> His back you know, was hurting. Yeah. And I show up, and this guy's like, yeah, it's going to be some fucking metal. I was like, I, I could dig that. I show up. It's fucking like rockabilly shit. Uh, and that's why we left. Dude, <laughs> there was like, <laughs> dude, <laughs> the fucking crowd was like 15 guys and one like ex-veterana chola who got like treated badly and like Damn. started doing fucking rockabilly shit. <laughs> and the whole time I could hear her, like I was smoking a cigarette outside. She's like, yeah, fuck that fool. Like, he don't even take care of his kids, eh? God damn. You know, but, like, but fuck, the like, most I, important thing you'll learn when you get to your 40s is that you have to soak your feet in Epsom salt. At a certain fucking oh, time. No. If not, you can't sleep. Dude. That's why you went home. Yeah. Okay. And fucking Matlock was on. I get it. I get it. <laughs> and um, fucking murder she wrote. <laughs> he went he went home. Um fucking Mash was on. On Annie. Epson so, salt, you know. huh? Yeah. That's the secret to get rid of bad taint smell. <laughs> so <laughs> that in the man pad? <laughs> the man pad. Okay. His man pad So was... out of all of you guys, I see there's one dude that, you know, obviously is the most quiet. Brian, why are you so fucking shy, man? Huh? How is he on the road compared to how he's being right now? Is the he wildest. the same fucking hey, honest, quiet motherfucker? Have right. you ever decided? To be dude. honest, like, I kind of just go to shows and leave. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna lie. yeah, like I travel alone. So you're pre- you're <laughs> early for the 40s, right? <laughs> he goes right? home and puts on Renegade. Epsom salt. Yeah. What the hell? Well, but it was because of school. I just finished actually. Woo! Yeah, I graduated like two weeks ago. Oh, oh where? Nice, nice, nice. There you go. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hell yeah. There's another degree in the band so, too. Caesar over here. He oh has fuck! A, a bachelor. Yes, a bam, 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 bam. Bam. nice, nice. And yeah. um, the rest of us are just disappointing. We're smart too. We're smart too. We're smart too. You're street smart. You're street smart. Any GEDs? Angel's got a degree too, dog. He's a second degree black belt <laughs> fucking taekwondo <laughs> Look at him. take one of these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> crazy yeah. so, so, so brian that's not cocaine that's epsom salt in your fucking pocket right oh yeah yeah Good yeah. yeah no actually the first time i ever saw him drunk was in vegas which oh, is yeah, kind of yeah. like uh, interesting. You know, I had yeah. to celebrate i had just yeah I you know brian graduated. I, I, I probably know for a good two years not Damn. once have i seen him with a beer in his hand not once have i seen buzz drunk you know, it's very professional. It took this. I mean, I like that. You know, you, you gotta have at least one guy in the band that's kind of professional. He's gotta take care of you. The that designated yeah. driver of the band. No lie, I He's had to make to sure some cops. of these guys were okay because, like, some of these guys get pretty out of control. You know what? He's <laughs> like, your drive shaft just <laughs> fell off, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, we don't need it. We don't need it. Hey, no, I did it. It's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Brian, Brian looks like he knows how to tie a tie. <laughs> yeah, actually, I learned. <laughs> he probably put the transaxle back. Hold on. I learned this in college. Hold on. I know how to put this back together. That's all I learned, to be honest. I bet you. I didn't even call it he says the university. <laughs> I bet you he's a sexual tyrannosaurus in the band, isn't he? <laughs> Brian, t- he's the one that talks to the cops. Yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah, Sorry, look, sir. Look, officer, they're a little tipsy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I-, I didn't know we couldn't do that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah man. Just by looking at you guys, Brian, he looks like, uh, you know, y- you can't really tell because he looks like he'd be the one that's quiet. But you never know one day he's gonna snap, Ask and he's gonna be I the fucking one me. on stage naked. He's a sh- he's shark. Dude. He's <laughs> a shark. Ask okay, me, he's gonna. Do you me. remember when you were saying you slid down the fucking slide with the sharks? He's gonna wind up fucking a shark one day, <laughs> and everybody's gonna be like, "What the fuck happened to this guy? <laughs> you know, what happened to Brian?" He's he's like, he's fucking a shark. Right there. Like, where's he's our, where's our money going? going? He's wrestling an alligator. Tony <laughs> looks like the fucking wild card. He's like yeah. you, you can't expect what this fool's gonna do. Uh, one day he's normal. Uh, one day know, he man. just shows up naked eating chili cheese fries. And, you know, like you got too much ranch on that, bro. What are you doing? <laughs> Anim- <laughs> animal style. Like, like, when, you, when you wake up like at five in the morning, you're like, should I drink this beer? I'm like, I'll drink it with you. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, all yeah. warm. Yeah. Let's do it. Caesar looks like the guy that don't give a fuck because we're right here at the podcast and he's on his phone like checking his Instagram. <laughs> no, no, he's checking his. his, his he's he's, he's, sure he's no, making I'm sure it's still on. I'm looking for juicy videos. Yeah, he's like, hey, what can I show these guys right now? Yeah, no, but hey, but honestly. 
I'm looking for that video where he got naked or Rick Strummer. We'll see it afterwards. You know, we'll see it afterwards. <laughs> and Angel, you, you're like unreadable. Oh. You're like the, I don't know, you're, you're mysterious. No, like, no, I don't like, know if you're going to kung fu kick me or you're going to play me a guitar line. I'm just, Angel I'm just really looks happy. like the little devil. <laughs> Angel looks like the little devil on your shoulder. Yeah, that's what I'm and saying. Brian looks like the little santo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, okay, the angel, the angel's right here on his shoulder and the fucking devils are here on this guy. And, I don't, so and like, we don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to pop out on his shoulder. Uh, now, now it's our turn. Now it's our turn. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. So is the reason that you threw your shit in the fucking water because of him? No. no, you no told no, he was he the devil? He was on his way home. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I was trying home. to be like, oh. He woke yeah, up. He so wo- Tony's he woke- the devil. No, no, no. <laughs> that's a wild card. Devil in he woke I up at four in the morning bit, huh? and bit. said, "I'm done." And he left and never came back. Damn, Damn. Dude, bro, it was. So, oh and I'm God. not lying. That's not an exaggeration. Okay, that's okay. exactly okay. what happened. So you're the hardcore decisive one. Well, it's like, think about it like this. I got there Friday night. I partied till like yeah, me too. Like mm-hmm. all night. You partied yeah, on the too. way over there. Yeah, we partied on the way there. And me then too. We, so like I kept I kept that same <laughs> thing going. Like yeah. I mean, we no, all me, did me it. Too. But I woke up. I woke up on uh, what was it Monday morning? I was like, it's because you didn't drink the Peter Light. I didn't drink. I should have. <laughs> it, it, it was Sunday. It was Sunday. And we were out of weed, bro. That was like, <laughs> like i Dude, gonna, Vegas is I'm legal. You can buy weed anywhere, man. Twenty five dollar joint, bro. That's the dumbest thing ever done. Where at? Dumbest thing I ever did in my life. Fremont Street. God Dude, damn. they have shops out there. Wait, we yeah, we yeah. really they got it's, one it's, shop. Well, no, no, no. Can you imagine trying try to Google something uh, when you're super drunk? We've only seen one, bro. It was a shop with a drive through Dude, my cousin lives. So next time you guys go, hit me up. I'll hook That's you guys up. There's a shop drive through but it's like $60 eighths or Dude, a $25 I ta- joint. I, talk, like, I don't know what to do. We didn't go far enough. I talked to a girl that is a manager at a shop out there. What do I do? shop called Blum. I hope. Yeah. U.M. Hit me up next I'll tell you a story. The last time I tried to fucking Google something on my phone drunk, End up drunk, drunk driving somebody on my fucking TV remote. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. What? <laughs> and it was the video of the naked drummer. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get back to the music. <laughs> all right, so out of all the shit you've written, you were saying, what is your favorite and why? Well, the water slide. No, no, no. <laughs> music, bro. Music. Is there a water slide song uh, coming out? <laughs> yeah, there think, has to be. You guys got to make a map. I think there's like. four, and I got my my top. You know, my top four, and it's number one, number two, number three, number four. My personal opinion. I think. I, I think. Uh, my my personal opinion. My, my personal opinion. Um, <laughs> Your personal opinion. The, the first song. I, I think our opener, our intro, Underground Lair. Uh, it's it's different from all the songs. Mm. It's definitely a hype song. What's it about? Uh, Underground Lair is definitely mysterious. It's about like it could have many different meanings. It's it's kind of like the Bible. It's the way you read it, and the way mm. the way you take it. You know, it's, it, what it what it means. Your own to you. Imp- interpretation. Uh, yeah, it's but, like a piece of art. You it's know, like, it's well, based of off what Relito wrote, like if the lyrics say like it's a room filled filled with secrets. Like, oh, it's a cell boat. It's like, mm. can you really? You think you can get them out of me? Got you. Like it's like so. It's like. We're like it's an underground lair. Got you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's the name of the song, Underground Lair. I mean, all, all that, just kind of summarize the song. It, it's just uh, I would say life in itself. Mm-hmm. You know, it, the lyrics include um, phrases like, you know, it, it, it's a room filled with you know many different secret secrets. Mm-hmm. You go left, you go right. Yeah. But then you drop. You know, a phrase like that. I mean, it's kind of like what you do in life. Mm-hmm. You go left, you go right. You know, but yeah. at the end of the day, somehow you still got bad luck. It's not crossroads. It's like crossroads type type yeah. deal. It has a lot of different meanings, but it's the way you take it. Um, mm-hmm. But it's definitely our, our <coughs> first song, our intro, the hype song. You that's know, my, that's my, my personal favorite. I like that one song, Catacombs, man. Catacombs, yeah. Man. That's one of my favorites. Yeah, man. That's more of a chill vibe. I like that um, one. You know, no, that I think that's an old chill. song from you guys, huh? Yep. Catacombs is about four years. It comes from the beginning. Yeah. That, one, that one caught me right when I heard but it. But we never put it out there. Yeah. And we finished it last year. Yeah, nice, well, we, we, we we touched it because yeah. they, they like they, I wasn't with them, so mm-hmm. they started they, they brought it back up, and then like we I, I mean we just suggested how about we just do something different and we just we just like not play. Oh shit. And then we play again. Hmm. Yeah, because <laughs> I heard it, man. They caught it, I I got it right when I heard it. I was like, this is it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think I repeated it like, at least three or four times. Yeah. And I, just like, I, I heard one of your guys' songs, and the intro of it sounds like a video game from Nintendo. 
was like, dun, 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 dun. Go! What game is that from? No, I think go, that's, go, I think go, that's go, uh, go. The Simpsons. Dun, 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 dun. No. The Simpsons. That's Andy Garland. That's the first one. All right. Oh, shit. Sure. Rick is a big uh, Simpsons. You know what? What's the break? But they did have a Simpsons video game. Wow. When you went to fucking Chuck E. Cheese when you were a kid. Oh, that's Road Rage? Rage. Fucking... Road Rage was dope. No, no, it wasn't no, Road Rage. It was like a fighting one. It was, yeah, they were fighting fucking. Oh, yeah, they and still had it. Like Damn, where's Rick at? Yeah, my childhood wasn't that good. It was that one, dude. Yeah, that's just it. Because the way you guys did it, it didn't sound exactly like the fucking, um, the actual intro of The Simpsons. It sounded like the video game version. No. Like, I want you to hear the video game version of it. And Hopefully like, yeah. Fox doesn't hear this shit and be like, oh, money. Um, Shout out no, to no, no, Fox. No. Yeah. Sue the study. Okay, uh, <laughs> they can't sue you. It's not over a certain amount of seconds. I think it was what, three oh, or true. nine. Three or nine. They're just going to want to fuck us. Anyway. Three seconds. I think it's three, right? Yeah. And they didn't do it more than three. Yeah, they're good. You guys are good. Cool. So, yeah, I heard that and I was like, <laughs> that sounds familiar. Dun, 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 dun. It reminded me of a video game, but yeah, there it is. Damn, you should put him on blast. Yeah. Damn. Hey, whatever. You know, <laughs> they might have used that in the progression in the Simpsons uh, cartoon in the beginning, the intro. Yeah. Dun, maybe. Dun, dun, dun. The maybe, Simpsons maybe not exactly. are ripping off the Studians. That's what's happening. And That's they took right. it off of their problem. So, so basically. <laughs> Danny Elfman is just like totally like just fucking ripping you guys off. Yeah, you should get money totally from his ass. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a it's a regular uh, platonic minor uh, he progression. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Minor, you know. So like he's minor, gonna be like platonic. It's uh, platonic. <laughs> he's gonna be like <laughs> no platonic is when you don't have sex. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> you mean you mean, uh, you mean uh, pentatonic? It's a pentatonic, yeah. Not platonic. Pen- no, no. Platonic is what uh, what uh. Pentatonic. Right, yeah. It's pentatonic oh. scale. Oh. What the fuck did I just walk into, dude? Sex. Sex. The yeah. friend zone. Uh, the friend zone and, and, and the Simpsons. So, and the Simpsons. Said, Blue balls, man. Somebody, yeah, said man. somebody said platonic. Somebody said platonic, but it's pentatonic. I said submissive. Yeah, it's pentatonic. I like blue balls better. <laughs> I heard is blue balls. It, is that it that better. one that like one group that has like that that melody? They they sing with their. What the f- <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck oh, is that? Moving on, moving on. You talk about <laughs> pentatonic. A pentatonic scale is a basic scale. <laughs> oh, oh, guitar. Okay, yeah, I like, thought you were talking about that fucking group that we sing. Yeah, yeah, you're talking about the group. Something pentatonic. Anthony just yeah, yeah, yeah. Anthony just fucking went to encyclopedia level. It's your basic scales that you can solo on, shit like that. You feed off, you know. So it's just a basic, and then it's one of the most basic scales. It's when you also solo. Yeah, 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 there you go. Yeah, because that person <laughs> want to fuck you. <laughs> and plutonium gives you cancer. Oh, I'm going to append it. Everything gives you cancer. All right. Shit. Oh, God damn. Okay, so <laughs> let me ask you guys a question. Um, What ska band got you into ska? Oh, damn. Except not. Damn. <laughs> this is one of them. I, I think for me, it was, Britney Spears. <laughs> it was Real Big Fish. I had like FIFA 2001. I think. Damn, Damn. He, t- he said FIFA, yeah. dog. Yeah. 2001, and I think Sellout was on that game, and that's when I like discovered ska. Ska. After what that, it? it was like my sister. She got into ska. At first, I was like, "What the fuck is this? The trumpets are all out of tune. It sounds like shit." But then, like, I I synced it onto my iPod, and I guess since it was just playing, I got into it. So I guess one of the like local bands that got me in was Café con Tequila and Viernes 13. Oh, oh, shit. And Echo. Echo. Shout out to um, your sister. <coughs> oh, yeah. my, shout out to my sister, Wendy. Oh, Wendy, you're on La Clica Podcast. <laughs> Listen to your brother right here. <laughs> we actually have her on the phone El right now. <laughs> hey, we, we can get people on the phone, actually, but this is not one of the days. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have a love line. So, so what, what about you? you? <laughs> shout out to Viernes 13, too. Those guys are pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I, I guess the Scatterlights, dude, I'm pretty old school. Scatterlights, mm-hmm. like, when I heard that, I was like, damn. All that Great Ball of Fire, the James Bond, the Rock for Rock. Yeah. All that shit is super cool to me. Nice. But to me, like, I always wanted to be, like, in a bandstand, you know, where everybody's wearing the suits. There's no, like, <laughs> rock star front man. It's just everybody's just together. Like the skanking oh, straw. Like skanking like, pickle. You know what I'm saying? You're the talking about suits and shit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Like a or, force together. Yeah, you're talking like about like big band Beatles. style. Yeah. You're talking about like some Beatles shit. No, like big band, like jazz like big, big band. band. Like, like 30, 40, 50. Oh, okay. shit. Oh, look who it is. What's up? Who's that? Who's that? So I got Rolito on the lifeline. Hey, 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 main vocalist, singer. Oh, hey. nice. Rolito, what's who up, got Rolito? you into Scott? Is he funny? <laughs> oh, wait, do we, have, do we have the connection? No. Going to a Left Alone show. 
<laughs> right, hey, put it on my speaker cousin. better. Put it on speaker <laughs> better. This is, this is back like in 2000. <laughs> That's what got you into ska? Left alone? No, I mean my cousin got me into ska. <laughs> we used to go to we used to go to Christian ska ska shows Christian. at the uh, in uh, downtown. Oh, what the fuck is Christian ska? Like fire iron. Uh, there's a bunch of bands. It's kind of cool. Huh? Was it at a church? Yeah, it was church. <laughs> By the way, the Rolito Misa, Rolito main vocalist, so experience via satellite. What's up, man? Via What's satellite. Don't don't roll it around. Satellite. <laughs> Mi salchicha. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, so we heard you got <laughs> naked. <laughs> yeah, we hey, we seen your belly and it looked like. A, that's not, oh, that was, <laughs> that's not you. That was not him. No, no, that's, no, not not him. that's the that's other an, guy. That's another. No, that was Gato. He got naked. You got the guy. Hey, naked. were you the oh, one that, that told us to? <laughs> <laughs> he knows already. <laughs> he was there. <laughs> so, um, were you the one that told him to throw his fucking iPhone X inside of the swimming pool? Oh no, that was in him. No, I'm just trying to find out who it was. They don't want to tell me. I'll face him, him next. Yeah. <laughs> oh, some other asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, <shit. laughs> <laughs> no, who does not remember shit? <laughs> I bet, man. Swimming with the sharks, man. Swimming yeah. with the sharks. Baby sharks. Man. Well, Baby shark. Baby shark. Thank you for checking in, buddy. They still got teeth. Peace out. All right, so uh, we just spoke to whom? Rolito, main vocalist, uh, steady All right, cool, 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 yeah. cool. Yeah. cool. Uh, so what like, got you into ska? I mean, what was the band? Uh, me, straight up, uh, there was a, a gig on my block on Virginia Street in Linwood, 2002. Nueve Vidas, Viernes 13, San Centro Skankers, Mata Mosca. Damn, that's a nice gig. Yeah, for a fucking backyard, backyard show? It got backyard. No, bro, that, that, it was the most cracking show I've ever been to. It was a backyard in the hood, <laughs> and it got raided. Fools were getting down. People were banging in the corner. It was nuts. It's funny how that's what got him into Scott. So, a lot of people would have ran away. So I was... I was, <laughs> well, was probably sex in the corner. <laughs> yeah, I was, yeah. Thir- I was 13. <laughs> it, it was 10 o'clock. My friend was like, hey, bro, there's a show on the block. Shut the fuck up. I sneak out of my house, 10.05. I go for five minutes, and then my life changed. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> you're like, it was viernes and I was 13. <laughs> Honestly, I, I think it was... A- <laughs> <laughs> That's it probably was. It probably was. came through. He's <laughs> like, viernes 13, hell yeah, it was viernes and I was 13. Vámonos, cabrón. Yeah, yes. man, it was the sickest thing I ever been to. I was a kid, bro, and I, I couldn't believe the energy that people had for music, you know? Mm-hmm. I, I thought it was just me, you know, fucking uh, at home, like liking music but nah bro it's fucking people really like move and shake yeah. and bounce and they groove to music and yep. i was like damn it's fucking sick and i got into south central skankers that day i picked up two demos i picked up the original mata musca demo with get back um and dsi oh damn and Ooh, then, uh, DSI's a shit, though. yeah and and they i also picked up the original demo from south central skankers it had three songs and they were the recordings were whack as fuck but to me it was a shit those are the best demos, man. Do you say played? They they had a split demo with Mosca. Oh shit! That they're giving out, and uh, South Central, um, their their three demo um um song that they that they were giving out, they, they don't play any of those songs anymore. And honestly, that music got me into it, bro. I was like, fuck, yeah. it's fucking sick, you know. It, it was just a shit, and uh, those, those are probably the two bands that got me into ska straight right, up. Yeah, dude, it's dope, man. <clears throat> it's crazy. What about Angel? Angelito, come on. Well, that guy that you guys were talking to, he's the one that got me into ska. Why? That fool. Shit. Raulito, he just, like, I told you, I was straight after high school. Mm-hmm. I was playing with some uh, some horn players that were into ska, and then they invited me. They were like, you you play guitar, right? I was like, yeah. And then... <laughs> can, can you play... Can you play Key Chuck? <laughs> <laughs> so so where, where'd your initial, like, want to play guitar come from? Uh, well, my, my whole family like, comes from music background. Like, my grandpa was, like, a singer for un, un Trio in Mexico. So, yeah, you liked all the fucking Los Panchos, all that shit like that, yeah. like, you know. So, you play boleros and shit like that. Well, I didn't really. I just listened to it when I was oh, little. okay. Mm-hmm. And, uh. Oh, um, yeah, guys, um, ringers off. Uh, <laughs> by, by the way, we forgot to say, but at La Pica yeah. podcast, you need to turn your ringers off before the. <laughs> yeah, the we fucked up. We fucked up. You know, we, we heard. Brr, 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 if you guys hear it out there. So, I got one more member on the line flying. Uh, Lou <laughs> beat us. Uh, he is the trombone player. Lou, though. Hey, Lou, they want to find out what kind of, you know, what band got you into ska music, so they don't know what kind of band, you know, got you into ska music and shit. 
my my background. Damn. That's a nice beard. No lie. No <laughs> lie. Like I was listening to Alton Ellis. Uh, shoot. Uh, traditional music. Bunch of like traditional bands, man. Slackers. Yeah, by the way, this is the guy that made me fucking break my phone into the water. Into the <laughs> oh, fucking he's a hey. Yeah. hey, hey. This is the guy. Hey, you owe him a fucking phone, man. <laughs> Not my fucking yeah. phone in the pool. And now you're famous. <laughs> <laughs> right Put on your glasses, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, so I'm going to show you your doppelganger right now. Oh, oh shit! shit. I'm gonna like, <laughs> bro, if you get if you All get right. trombone, so I'm gonna show in. you your doppelganger right here. Look, <laughs> twins, bro. <laughs> nice glasses. <laughs> this is this is Rick right here, the founder of La Clica Podcast, yeah, Lil and Daddy, he bro. is your fucking hey, you know twin, what? bro. He's like, he knows <laughs> all my moves. Love hey. Lil Daddy. Bro. This phone is actually fucking waterproof. <laughs> Hey, that's what he says, but so did Apple, and you know. <laughs> so lies. Well, why why did you convince this guy to throw his fucking phone into a fucking lake? Uh, well, cause he saw me with my phone proof. Uh, Your phone proof? <laughs> it doesn't phone. Yeah, a water a waterproof phone case for my phone, cause I knew I was gonna jump in the water, so I was like, I might as well buy one. So I got one on Amazon, and I told everybody I got one. And he's like, my shit's waterproof too, look. And then he just like, grabs it, he throws it in the water, and I'm like, uh, I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. He took it out, and like a couple hours later, he's like, yeah, my phone's fucked up. <laughs> so uh, you let this guy roll around with a fucking iPad? Yeah, that's his fault, not my fault. <laughs> hey, you're the one that told him to do that shit, man. What a dick. <laughs> you owe him an iPhone. I blame other people for his mistakes. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what's your name again, brother? My name is Luis Osvaldo Vides from South Central California. Where can we find you on Instagram? Uh, Chico Rudo on Instagram. It's T-X-I-K-O underscore uh, R-U-D-O, Chico Rudo. Yeah, that's that's dope, man. Um, you know, too bad we couldn't have you here with like Liga Podcast, but you know, at the same time, you guys got too many fucking members. You guys are like, <laughs> like we were saying, you guys are like half of the fucking Jewish Holocaust. Like, <laughs> and um, Scott you know, Wu Tang, we're, we're not that Scott big of a Wu-Tang. podcast at this Scott point, Tang. and we can't support fucking the fucking eighty-two members you guys fucking got up in here. You know, we, you got naked ones, you got half closed ones, and like. You know, quiet ones. You guys got like all the mixtures, you know. Yeah. We got people from under the stairs. We got everywhere, bro. Yeah, man. We come by the dozen. Were you the naked, naked one? No, he's not the naked one. That's no. not the naked one. No. I recognize that belly. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, His forehead don't match the belly. <laughs> hey. hey, is that your brother though, man? Rick from La Clica. Is that your brother? I like finding a good set of twins, man. <laughs> Hey, oh, yeah, there, there it is. Lou. There it is. <laughs> Bro, I thought you said you were and, working. Hey, right? and, no, no. And he, <laughs> you are here. He's hey. working. He's like showing us the work. Like, and he's got the, <laughs> and he's, back to hey. dishes, bro. He's got the fucking Rascahuele shirt on. <laughs> I know. Hey, do you wear man pad? <laughs> hey, hey, okay. Um, question was, number one. Do you wear man pads? He was one of the first testers, who? Do you wear a man pad? No, yeah. I wear the pen. <laughs> the pen, okay. <laughs> It, it all depends, it, it, He said it depends. He wears them when he gets a shit. That's right, man. Hey, uh, Kevin Trumpet said I'm here. Did he just show up here? I think that's, I think that's a late message. He calls you Kevin. <laughs> no, it says right here, Kevin Trumpet, I'm here. I know. Oh, yeah, decline, yeah. decline. I'm supposed to meet him at the Decline, studio. decline. <laughs> Decline. Hey, hey, okay, okay. He's right here on La Clica Podcast. All right, thanks, brother. Look, look, I'm going to text back Kevin Trumpet. Call him, call him, call him. No, no, I'm going to text him back and say, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, fine. I'm, I'm, look, look, we'll see what he writes back. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put fuck you to show to, to the podcast. I'm supposed to pick up drum equipment from him that is mine. All right, let's look, call. Let's if ca- you let's, say fuck hey, you, he on. might just keep it. Oh, this podcast was brought to you by Man Pan Pad. Supported by listeners like you. <laughs> also by Christian Birch. Refresh cleaner. Get all right. So let's get back to the music. Okay. All right. So we're we're left off on you know where you were talking about, but what about you? 
Why do you hate this guy so much? <laughs> <laughs> this was a fucking bully, man. <laughs> See, look, I knew look, that look, shit. Look, look, look at the Just way he's saying. sitting. He's like, it's the hat. He's like, what you gonna do, homie? <laughs> <laughs> so does anybody else play in another band? I know you play in Living Out in War. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I play for. I play Steady Ends, Living Out in War, Hip Hop, and then to Steady Ends, Scott Reggae. Angel, he plays for a couple of bands as well. Um, uh, he says a couple, but it's just one more. It's Una Mas. Una más. Una más. Yes, so you play more. Una más. Una más. Hey, now I get it. Yeah. One more. Hey, one more. One more. Una más y ya no más. Yeah. Hey, you guys are fucking band sluts, man. Yeah, bro. We share each other. <laughs> Whoa. Shit. Yo, dude, like, when when uh, the Steadians first started, Una más was like, we had like five horns. These motherfuckers came around. They stole all my horns. Yeah. Oh, fuck, dude. And they got too horny, man. <laughs> and then, and then three years later, they have the dig- the decency to come up to me nah, and ask me to join nah. the band. <laughs> you know what I said? I said yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 God, the dude. naked guy was the one who stole the horns. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you know, if you can't beat him, just join them. Uh, mm-hmm. that, that, what about that? Tony, man? How many bands are you in? Twelve. Uh, like seventeen. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brian. You're in Otro Mas? Is that the thing? <laughs> <laughs> or or el, el Otro? El Otro. No, I, I play for Ja Faith in the rural lineage. Ooh. It's like a roots reggae. Oh, oh yeah. Shit. Roots, roots nice. reggae band. El Brian? Lots of weed, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I think right now, mainly this one, but I do like, every now and then when Anastasia hits me up, I cover for like bass or trumpet. And then every now and then I do like banda. Gigs. Dude, yeah. you remind me of my homeboy who plays uh, bass here with us. Uh, his name is Jose. He played with the Commons before. Ooh. And, um, Does he wear a sombrero? Or like a yes, Jose. He is a shit. Yes, he, he is. is. <laughs> I, I played a show with the Commons. And, and, yeah. Um, somewhere in the desert. Yeah, and, oh yeah, and, desert, and desert, he, um... Escape or some shit. No, 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 some bullshit. Yeah, yeah but, but I played with Living Out at that show and I met your bass player. He's yeah. one of my most... Like favorite bass player. He's badass. He yeah. dances, he moves, he's yes. shit on the bass. Cool yes. he is the shit. All right, guys. All right, so you know, it gets to the point where we love to have everybody on La Clica podcast, and you know, just like a show of Mister Rogers' Neighborhood, it always <laughs> got to come to an end. You know. Oh no! <laughs> is it time to put on my little sweater? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Take your well, shoes off. You, you got to switch your shoes yeah, and put on a new cardigan. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna put on my docks on the way out. Huh? There you go. Thanks so, for coming by, neighbors. Hey, you know what though? We have to have a part two of this. We need the other half of the band. Yeah, yeah. we do. Yeah. Actually, it might be part three, huh? All that. right. Where can people find your next shows? Where can we look up Instagram, Facebook? You guys have a website? Uh, we don't have a website, but we have everything else. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, SoundCloud, we have a Twitter. Uh, Spotify. Uh, we, 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 yeah, we have all the platforms, all social media platforms, except for like, you know, Pornhub and all that. But <laughs> well, you guys just hey, are a Pornhub. The, you got dude. a naked guy on your fucking stage. Yeah, man, we, we got a naked guy. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> Brian looks like he's swinging a mean rod. Dude, you guys should be on Pornhub. <laughs> it's tripod, bro. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> That's right, you guys did say yeah, that. It's always a quiet one. He's like, I got a big dick. The silent but violent. I don't got to say anything. Yeah, but no, but... Fucking right. change the name to Fierro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I, honestly, we're very active on, on um, Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. Those are our two major sources of um, basically uh, communicating with the road. Uh, we got four shows coming up in June. We got Chuco Town. Uh, it's brought to you by East End Block Party. Mm-hmm. It's basically the guys from La Santa uh, and Santa Ana. And the hurricanes are. That's uh, the eighth, right? This weekend. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Saturday, we're up at three p.m. on the music stage in Santa Ana. Mm-hmm. Uh, hurricanes are headlining. Day drinking. <laughs> and then we also have another show in Hollywood. Um, the Steady Forty Five is releasing their EP. Uh, actually, now they're releasing a vinyl mm-hmm. of a song uh, in Hollywood at the um, El Cid. El Cid. Oh shit! I love that place. Fucking Steady Forty Five. It's a badass spot, man. La Cita. I apply there. They didn't want me. That's La Cita, right? No, no. El Cid. El Cid. Oh yeah, yeah. That's on Sunset Boulevard. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like an underground thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go down and you fucking. It's a restaurant, but they have shows. But late at night, it's like it's nasty. We got we got two more. Is that where Homeboy is working right now? On the video. Uh, no, no, that's, oh. uh, that's which, <laughs> he, just, he just showed us like a kitchen. That's why that fool was yeah. working at the gap, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, that fool, uh, that fool works for the White House. <laughs> He's still coming through, right? I've said enough. <laughs> and June 28th, well, we're playing at Romano's in uh, Riverside. Romano's or Romano's? Romano's. Romano's. Viernes 13, Steady 45, Los Agrios. Uh, and then we also we're also playing San Pedro uh, Brewing Company. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Um, that's in San Pedro. Nice. Uh, with the short neck drafts and that's pretty much what we got for June, July. We're actually doing a tour. Mm-hmm. In August we're doing a tour. So 
Uh, July, we're going up north. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're yeah. going to go to um, Idaho, Port Vance, Seattle. Idaho. Mm. Uh, Frisco. But not in the Range Rover. Not <laughs> in the Range Rover. No, we're, we're actually getting the van. Yeah. <laughs> so it won't smell too bad. Too soon. Just the new drive <laughs> shaft, man. Yeah. And this then uh, no just, sharks. Then August, the month after, we're going to Chicago. And oh, we're going to be out there for a Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, dude. Nice. You guys are all over. Fuck yeah, dude. Shy town. Oh, nice. yeah. Skanking. Hell yeah. Skanking. Well, thanks for coming down. If we learned one fucking thing here today is do not drop your iPhone in a fucking pool. In Las Vegas. <laughs> and in buy Vegas. a fucking iPad and you'll get backstage. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, two things, That's two things. That's two things. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. That was a bonus. Yeah. So we got to give a shout out to Brian's fucking extra rod. <laughs> <laughs> the tripod. <laughs> The fucking the fierro. <laughs> His dick hole is three inches wide. <laughs> Coming to a city near you. <laughs> Gertie. We got Tony with the sick fro. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah. yeah you know yeah, he yeah, has weed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no shit. You see him like, you know that fucker's carrying, dude. Yeah, so and uh, we have Caesar. I'm going to recommend a song that you make. La Cachucha Mastrucha. <laughs> gracias, gracias, representando. Hey, <laughs> hey, make a song. La Cachucha Mastrucha. La Cachucha Mastrucha. Yeah, it's just mastrucha. talking shit. It's talking about the Cachucha, you know? The we mas- got Angel right here. That I don't even I don't even know what the fuck to say about you, dog. This, that's more. You just leave Vegas and you fucking abandon everybody. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just gotta go. Angel is that's a, a sound so- judgment. Remember, he's a little devil on your shoulders. He's too cool. Too cool. Too cool. Too cool. No. cool. No, if I would have stayed, I would have. I would have been like. El abandono. El abandono. Angel is the devil. How much is that? How much is that Uber ticket from Vegas to uh, L.A.? Oh, you just gotta pretend that no, you stole I, I your left, credit card. I live with Brian. Oh, see, okay. oh, see there, there you go. I, Brian, Brian, I knew you so knew how to fucking tie a tie. Brian was <laughs> the <laughs> angel. He was like, "Come with me," and he took the devil. Yeah. <laughs> Vámonos, cabrón. No, I was like, I was calling the, I was calling the angel. I was like, "Hey, wait, ya no puedo." Was like, <laughs> what kind of car do you have, Brian? I have a Nissan Versa. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's very Versa tile. <laughs> yeah, it was good. It, I'm telling you. Baller alert. Baller alert. Every time I pulled over, I had to throw up. I came back. Yeah. He was like, punk rock bowl. <laughs> <laughs> he threw up his fettuccine Alfredo. Dude, that shit was expensive, <laughs> man. And we ate a cheesecake. And I, I, added, oh, I added cheese, bro. I added uh, chicken. I was going to add shrimp. Imagine. That more oh, money. Oh, no. Dude. You would have been like shitting black. and fucking vomiting. Mm. I, they, I have nothing to shit, bro. I vomited it all. No, but if you would have got the shrimp, you <laughs> had right. chorro and vomit. But like, all right, guys, let's uh, say peace out. Peace out. <laughs> Late. A rato. Peace. Okay. A rato. Peace. Peace. Yeah. Cheers. A rato. All right. Yeah. Signing off from like. Okay, so podcast. make sure you guys listen to uh, on Spotify. Uh, our time is now. Yeah. And it's the, the, the latest EP from the Stadians. She, she. So signing out from La Clica Podcast this is Anthony, Run Rabbit Run. Rick, Low Light Gangster. Chris at La Clica Chris. <laughs> I didn't even see that <laughs> right. <laughs> La Clica this Chris. This cannot say. He says, like, he says a French version of La Clica, which is called La Clica. Yeah. <laughs> and this one looks good. Let's keep it rolling. <laughs> Brian? Uh, what's your Instagram? Uh, Oh, underscore Brian Rosas underscore. <laughs> Tony at a laser. <laughs> Big C's with a capital C from the steady and space player, Master of the Universe. Angel, uh, Angel Mon. Bago, 74. Hey. And here we are concluding like a podcast. Thank you all for listening. Peace. 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 Peace.